Hey y'all, welcome in, welcome in. It's your Oracle Gang Betty and you already know who it is. You already know what to do. Please definitely leave your zodiac signs in the comment stream below so that way we can get started with all the readings today. I don't know what it is about TikTok, but they're having technical difficulties with my live stream. So hopefully this is live and live streaming right now and we're doing our thing thing because I just tried getting on for the past like 20 minutes and it wasn't working but if you guys can see me let me know in the comment stream below if this is working also I'm gonna get that lineup set up so drop your zodiac signs in the live stream we're here Tuesday through Friday for the public live streams for zodiac only readings and then for the private live streams with my subscribers only that's gonna be on Mondays all right at 7 p.m. all right you guys Hey, I, I see everybody in the chat. All right, that made me happy. You guys, I got a new little mic mic here. So let me know if it's set up. Let me know. Let me know. Can you hear that? Let me know. Because I got to put her a little bit closer. All right. Here we go. We're going to start off with the live streaming readings. Okay, for all my zodiac signs. Cute mic. Thank you. Level up. <laughs> Level up. That's what this was because my uh, sound was usually coming from my cell phone, but now it's actually coming from my blue mic, okay? So I had to upgrade you so we could have these quality streams, but I appreciate you for noticing and for the compliment. My mic, she appreciates it too because she thinks she's cute and she is. So um, welcome in, welcome in to all my beautiful people here. This is the original Oracle Gang Betty. I don't want to hear nobody else. <laughs> In my comments underneath my videos like is this the real one is this the like cuz like apparently the other um, the other live stream I don't know if they live stream but let's just say the other TikTok accounts are who are acting like me are really getting more creative so a lot of people are asking me over and over again is this you is this you thank you forever for the roses forever um, but yes yeah, so just don't get bamboozled out here, okay, you guys? This is where I live stream, okay? So if you're not following me already, this is the original OG baddie here. Here on TikTok on the live streams, okay, you guys? Don't get bamboozled there. Don't send your money to nobody. If they're in your DMs asking you for a reading and telling you to send it to the Cash App or the PayPal or the whatever, don't do it. I'm telling you right now, you heard it here first. They try to be me, but you can't compete where you don't compare. Honey, boo-boo child. And that's what's not going to happen to all my baddies and daddies in the chat. So make sure that you're using your discernment. I will never send you a message to solicit you for a reading. And also, I will never follow you. So I don't know if you noticed, but I will never follow you. Thank you, Laura Marie, for my little crane in the sky. But um, yeah, girls and guys in the chat, please, he, she, they, just make sure that you are using your discernment when you see a person who has the same logo as me the same profile picture trying to come at you okay okay it's not the real deal okay you guys i never send you a dm asking you for a reading i'll never ever ever do that you have to contact me to figure out how to get a reading okay um speaking of personal readings you can purchase a personal personal reading on my official webby okay that's gonna be oraclegangbaddy.com that's the only way that you can purchase a reading you can book a reading or anything like that other than that i'm not gonna be up in your dms asking you for a reading i am not that desperate okay i got other things to do i have a day job and a night job this is my nighttime gig all right so nobody has time to be sending out dms to everybody so if somebody's sending you a dm it is not me no sir no ma'am all right, you guys, so I just want to make sure that you guys know that, okay? Welcome into all my Oracle Gang baddies and deities in the chat. I'm making up the lineup right now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for the gifts. I really appreciate you. She said, wait, I'm early. Carmaya, you're not early, girl. You're right on time. Okay, I just started the live stream at 7.30. We're clocking it right now. I was running a little bit late because I was troubleshooting the issues with TikTok. For some reason, my Wi-Fi and the TikTok app and everything wasn't connecting with the mic, so we figured it out. All right, it's my second day using this mic and second time like um, using it during the live stream. So give me some slack okay but um we do have all these signs here Ooh, we got sag in the building sagittarius i have a lot of friends that are sagittarius and leos i don't know what it is but mm -hmm. that's what happens 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what else is going on here. I think I have everybody. Let me make sure Saj didn't come sooner in the chat and maybe I missed them because my intuition, if it serves me right, it, okay, no, I didn't miss Saj. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're missing two. I have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. Oh, we're missing Aquarius. Okay. We're missing Aquarius and Taurus. So who came in the building first? We about to find out. We about to find out. I'm scrolling up, you guys. I'm scrolling up because we are only fair in this room. Thank you, Diana, for the roses. I love digital roses, but I also like roses in real life. So take note. She might have a peel box soon. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm not going to have a peel box. It's too much. <laughs> Somebody says, zom zoo it as I'm scrolling. You guys are great. <laughs> I love when you guys interact with me in the chat. You guys are the best. All right, so here we go. We have Virgo. Let's see if after Sag... <coughs> oh, it was Aquarius and then Taurus. Okay. I'm sorry, Taurus. You're the last of the list. But you know what we do for the last? We say when we save the best for last. <laughs> it's always different every day. But for today, it's gonna be Taurus. We're saving the best for last. And when we do, we do a little bit extra. Something, something for you with the charms and all that good stuff. Okay. Don't tell nobody what else I do for you because there's other things that I do. All right, but take note, okay? If you guys are last, don't worry. Don't get discouraged. Just stick around, grab a snack, and um, wait for your reading, okay? All right, so here we go. We have the lineup is all ready. Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. All right, you guys, so I'm about to take a vote on which one we're going to do tonight, if we're going to do love, or if we're going to tap into, don't, don't put your, don't put your vote yet, okay, I know you guys are excited, everybody calm down, um, don't put your vote yet, because I'm going to set it up so that there's a poll, but, um, yeah, I got these new cards, I just want to show you, I don't know if y'all saw the post that I made on my TikTok account, okay, but these are the new cards that I got specifically specifically for career readings okay we got entrepreneur debt paid interview we got all these cute little thing of things okay so it's a little mixture all right so i'm gonna ask you guys in the live stream because we're short on time today and because i gotta get to bed um and i know you guys do too we're gonna only do one style of reading today all right, you guys, so it's either going to be love or the new career cards. Let me know. I'm going to start the poll right now on the live stream. Don't vote yet. It's a special poll that I do. All right, so hold on. I'm about to set it up right now. All right. I'm going to set it up right now. Here we go. We're going to do the quick poll. Put a, okay, so there's going to be two emojis. If you want love, there's going to be emoji with the smiling cheese, like cheese smiling face, right? If you want career, put the crying emoji, like laughing out loud crying emoji, okay? Not yet. And go. Right there, you can vote. Bottom of the screen, you can vote. Right above the comment area, click it, click it, click it. It's going to do it's going to do the vote count for me. That's the only way I could tell fairly, fair and square. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to clear out and cleanse my space with the Palo Santo and open up a window because we be getting smoked out sometimes. It's no joke. All right, you guys. Oh, it looks like love is winning. Nobody wants to know about their career. They said, please don't tell me about my money. I already know how my money's going. Wow. So not many people put career. Career is barely moving. Barely. Crying emoji for career, smiley emoji for love. Crying emoji for career, smiling emoji for love. You got nine seconds, eight seconds before the poll ends. Wow. Love wins again. It's about to end. Three, two, one. 176 votes for love. Not everybody actually putting it in the chat. You were supposed to vote by pressing that button. Y'all funny. No, we want career. <laughs> I'm screaming. Why did y'all click it? That's why I did the vote. We're going to do another vote. Round two. Now you guys know what to do. 
Now y'all know what to do. We're going to do best out of three. Best out of three. This is the first time I'm doing this. This is actually a lot of fun. Let me know in the chat if y'all having fun. Because I'm having fun. All right. Best out of three. This is the second time. So love won the first time. Keep that in mind. Let's set it up again. You guys know what to do now. Now that we know what to do this time. Let's see. And go. Smiling emoji. Like the cheesing emoji. You know when the, it's smiling extra hard. That one's for love. The crying emoji, laughing out loud emoji is for career. Let me know. While I cleanse the space, we're going to wait. We're going to see. If it's two for love, I'm just going to majority rules. Oh, oh, if love wins, it's going to be a love night, y'all. If career wins, then we'll do another poll to break the tie. But it looks like love's about to win again. Are y'all really clicking the button? There's a button on the bottom left of the screen above the add a comment. Are you guys clicking it or no? Or are you just putting emojis in the chat? Don't put the emojis in the chat. It's not going to count that. You have to click it. You have to click it. And love wins again. Oh, they said love one, which is love. <laughs> I know, right? Please, I want to know if my bill's getting paid. <laughs> I'm screaming, guys. I told you to vote. This is why we do this. Y'all will follow directions. Okay, gang, gang. I'm going to need y'all to follow directions. They said love always wins. It's always love over money. That's facts. That's facts. Love. I can't pay, can't pay the bills. <laughs> love can't pay the bills. I feel you. But love won again. So clearly it, it does something for the chat. All right, you guys. My follow Santo went out because I literally was screaming and blowing it out by accident. Thank you so much for the emojis, you guys. Or the gifts, I mean. The, the little um, roses. That's what I meant to say. All right, you guys. We're about to get into these love reads in like two minutes. I'm just going to cleanse my space. But while I'm doing this, you guys... Feel free to talk amongst yourselves, ask me any questions you like, or even send the gifts in the meantime so I can see them all coming through. Because normally when we do the readings, I don't really see the gifts. So if you want to send them, send them all now. Or forever hold your peace. No, I'm just playing. All right, here we go. Thank you, Swords, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and angels for everything that you do for me in the collective on a daily. Hi, Jamina. Me and Janine was, Jamina was in the chat yesterday. Thank you, Jamina. Thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you, honey. Uh-huh, honey. Thank you, Catalea. Is that Catalea? How do you pronounce your name? It's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Colombiana movie with Zoe Saldana. Her name is Catalea. Kind of reminds me of it. <laughs> Noel. Ew. Where are my subscribers in the chat? I got 18 out of 20 subscribers here on the TikTok. All right, you guys. Catalina. I went to Catalina. What was it? Last two weeks and two weekends ago, I was in Catalina. Noel, thank you, Noel. Ew, okay. Y'all be pulling up on your girl. Thank you so much. I love the love. And that's why we're doing the love readings today. I'm sorry you guys. We didn't do the love readings, but it's okay. I'm cleansing my space right now. Source for your answers and angels for everything that you do for me in the collective on a daily. All the love, the sustenance, the abundance, the peace, the harmony, the grace, the balance, and the protection. For we are nothing without and we are everything with you at this time. I ask that you cleanse any low vibrational energies from this space, my mind, body, soul, and spirit, and those of the live stream. Okay. Only that of love and light is allowed in this space. Anything low vibrational or negative in this space is commanded to leave by our forces of love and light. Ashe. Only that of love and light is allowed in this space. Anything that's low vibrational is commanded to leave and is not welcomed here. Ashe. Any low vibrational energies coming into my live stream or towards the people on my live stream will be returned back to sender times 10. Ashe. Thank you for everything, for everything that you do. For we are nothing without and we are everything with you. So glory be to the most high forever and ever. And so it is. And it's a safe space now. We love to see it. Okay, you guys. It's a safe space to be here. Thank you so much. We claim in all the good stuff to come through. Okay. If anybody has low vibrational energy or things to say or anything uh, uh, towards me or any of my viewers here on the live stream, it is returned back to sender times 10. And I claim it, and so it is. So <laughs> pull up if you want to, but my ancestors got hands. And that's what we talk about, okay? All right. All right, here we go, here we go. 
we're shuffling up. We're going to start off with Capricorn for the Zodiac readings. Capricorns, what do we have going on, okay? Like I said, you guys, as a disclaimer, take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else, okay? If it's not your message and not your reading, it is not going to resonate, okay? Not the entire thing is going to resonate beginning to end. You might get little pieces of messages or things you need to hear in moments of certain messages. Maybe there will be multiple messages, but not the whole thing will resonate, okay? So keep that in mind and use your discernment while watching my readings. Also, if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those, okay? So, I'm not going to slide up in your DMs to ask you if you want a reading. I repeat, I will not pull up on you in your DMs. I know that there's a lot of impersonators and a lot of fakers out there on this TikTok account thing a thing. But I'm the real account, and I am the real OG. OGB up in the chat. Oracle gang, baddie gang, gang in the building. All right? I'm not going to pull up on you and ask you for a reading in your DMs or your PMs. Okay, you guys know where to go to book the reading. So don't get bamboozled there. You have no one else to blame but yourself because you heard it here first that I'm not going to do that. I'm also not going to follow you. I will not follow you, I repeat. I will not follow you. I don't follow anybody. As you can see, I only have 17 people that I follow. I do not follow anybody else. So if you see an account that has more than 17 followers, that is not me. Absolutely not. All right, you guys, so use your discernment. All right. I have to say that again because somebody was in my post the other day and was like, oh, this is the fifth time I'm actually seeing da 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 da. And they was irritated. I was like, why are you mad at me, boo? Because I told you. If you pull up on me, you pull up right and you came to the right account. Okay? So, just want to let everybody know that before we get into the readings. You guys know this is the real deal. Mm -hmm. If you would like to book a personal reading, like I said, oraclegangbaddy.com. I am not going to solicit you for a reading through TikTok or any other app through your messages. I'm not going to do that. Ashe. What are we doing for Capricorn? We're doing the love. Here we go. Love and romance for Capricorn. Love and romance for Capricorn. Those in relationships or who are single at this time. Passion. Love and romance for Capricorn. Attraction. Okay, I'm not mad at this. Where are we going with this, Capricorn? Pull it out me. Let me see. Let me see. Forgiving and learning. Okay. Oh, there's a card flipped over that didn't pop out. Wow, that's good news. Okay, you got a lot of good news. You got a lot of good news. And, and with that said, I'm going to just stop there. Put this in the reverse. Let's see what was on the top of the deck here. Okay. I'm not mad at this, Capricorn. I do have messages for both those those uh, in the Capricorn Collective, both parties uh, who are single and also who are in relationships. So let's say for Capricorns, I do see a lot of passion, a lot of attraction here. OK, for those who are single. You are in a passionate energy. You just want to be up underneath somebody or what's up to somebody, okay? And you're looking super attractive at this time, or this is the energy you are exuding. People are soaking it up. People can feel it from afar, close by. Your energy is traveling distances, short and long, okay? You are very attractive at this time. There's a lot going on in the passion arena, okay? In the love arena for you, okay? Um, I do feel like a lot of this has to do with some forgiving and learning. So for a lot of my uh, single Capricorns, we're talking about single Capricorn Collective, you could have healed from the past a lot because um, it looks like you released an ex of the past, whether that was physically or emotionally, you already released the ex. So an ex is not coming back towards you, but also you're not going towards them. You're not even thinking about them. You forgave and learned from the past people who treated you wrong or just like whatever gone on in a romantic connection or things that don't serve you and you learn how to have your own self-love self-care you learn how to put yourself first and you taught people how that you come first and you don't teach them that you come second no more okay because what we allowed is what is what continues and there's something here that you did that's very very beautiful i do see somebody watching movies or they eat popcorn or they have well obviously you do that everybody does that but you had within the last week or this week you plan on doing that going to a movie or eating popcorn i don't know if you're going on a date with somebody or if this is something you do you just go to the movies by yourself and you eat popcorn let me just say i've done that before and sidebar is the best thing ever i don't have to i don't i literally don't even have to impress anybody i could just go buy all the snacks be a little fat ass all by myself and literally sit in the front row of the theater because that's my favorite seat. I don't have to ask somebody else where I want to sit. I don't have to ask them. I don't have to, um, you know, ask them, you know, can you pay for this or can I have these snacks? No, none of that. I go buy my own snacks, 
pull up on a uh, theater, sit in my favorite seat in the whole entire theater and watch my favorite movie or the movie that I want to see. Okay, there's something about this energy that the Capricorns do. So take that in mind. Keep that in mind uh, for my Capricorns who are single. All right, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm also seeing here, because you released your ex, you're not really open to having to want to make the effort in a new connection. However, um, that is going to change, okay? It looks like you just kind of want to have fun right now and explore your options because there's something that you learned about love or how you want to go in the next, go towards the next relationship in love or towards the next person. You're not really looking for a connection. You're not making the effort in the love arena towards anybody new or towards an ex. You're kind of just there and you're enjoying this moment. You're enjoying your energy. So I really do feel like that's really good energy to be in Capricorn. Let's see if anybody's coming towards you because I'm... Let's just let's just be honest. I'm nosy. Let's see if anybody's coming towards you, okay, really quick. And then we'll get into Capricorn relationships. People who are in relationships who are Capricorns, and then I will. So yeah, you're not making the effort in love because you have your heart a little closed off to love or options in love. Even though you kind of put yourself out there, it's not that you want anything serious. So for my Capricorns who are single, it will help you attract more love if you open up your heart a little bit more. But there is something that you are going through which is healing at this time or something you've already done that's healing. Because we have forgiving and learning here and we have released your ex in the reverse, which means you already done and did this, okay? So that's for my singles. It says date night. Get ready to be wine and dine. This was this is the card that fell on the floor. This is crazy because I literally just said that. I said somebody's eating popcorn at the movie. So I don't know if you got a date. <laughs> Capricorn, I don't know if you have a date coming up or if you're just giving, you know, you're entertaining the thought of like potential suitors, male or female. You're entertaining this thought of going on a date and just enjoying people's company or like energy. Or you're taking yourself on a date night. Like I said, this could be self care self-love energy that you're doing for yourself and you're just like i don't have to report to nobody i just do what i want because <laughs> i'm popping okay so i'm definitely here for this energy okay on the bottom of the deck i do see somebody spying on you for my single capricorn someone's got their eye on you and you're um they are doing their research okay so this person could be doing the research i do want to say the person probably spying on you is probably the ex or the person that you walked away from but it's not necessarily telling me that it is an ex it's always a possibility that the spy could be an old person but what i think what my intuition is telling me about this just because the car is the way it's coming out and everything like that the energy is so cute it looks like somebody who's had a crush on you because you're looking so attractive at this time and you're probably posting a lot on social media or if this if you don't have social media you're definitely walking around with your head higher um maybe you've got like a new uh some spirit said a new piercing <laughs> something that makes you more confident like a new piercing or tattoo but this could very well be like that you got new wardrobe you change your hair you do your makeup different or if you're a male you got your hair cut you look at fresh you got the latest and greatest or you drive a nice little car a nice new car something there's an upgrade in your physical attraction that's um attracting a lot of passion or a lot of suitors being a single person and there could be people spying on your social media like oh what they up to oh i surpassed this person or this person was taken at the time but i'm gonna pull up in their dms you know what i'm saying somebody sliding in your dms trying to be relevant then you might go on a date with them you might open up your heart to like you know entertain the situation but it's up to you capricorn if you want to be in a relationship okay so that's what i'm getting for my capricorns all right singles Let's get into Capricorn um, in relationships, okay? Capricorns in relationships, all right? And you know what? Spirit said told me to clear the spread because I really thought that we was just going to go in. And they were like, no, clear the spread. We have a new message for uh, relationships for Capricorns. I normally use the same set of cards and I just read it for the relationships when we're working on a zodiac sign but they told me to start over so i'm just going to listen to spirit and not argue we're working on capricorn right now capricorn in relationships we just finished capricorn in um capricorns who are single we just finished but we're working on capricorn in relationships oh i just heard the i've been hearing this for almost like a few days this week now i just heard this uh the song it's the same song that it's on replay since last week. I don't know if this is your energy, Capricorn. I can't remember if this song came out while we were doing your reading last week. You guys can tell me in the chat who it was. But it's 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 like as soon as I was about to go in, into relationships, it's like the song, Don't We Look Good Together? Dun -dun 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 all long, all night long. Oh, dun -dun 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 -dun. That song. Whose song is it? 
Who song is that? Wasn't that uh, Cardi B and uh, it's on replay in my head every time I get to Capricorn. Finesse, Bruno Mars and yes. Something about that song has a lot to do with you, Capricorn, in a relationship. So for those of you in a relationship, something about that song, I don't know if the person looks like Bruno Mars or Cardi B or reminds you of them or they just like these artists or you like that song, you share that song with you and your person. Something about relationships, very highly connected to that song. Maybe y'all just look good together because that's like literally the bar that I got. Crazy energy coming through. I've been getting that for a few days within the past week. Soulmate. Ooh. Capricorn. Ah! Capricorn. You gonna have to tell me what your reading is about because why do we have soulmate here? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ than your usual type and expectations. Wait a whole minute. Okay. You guys, this is the lineup. If you're new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Gang Baddie for all your zodiac needs. I'm just gonna segue real quick and let y'all know that this is the way the lineup's going. So I go from top to bottom and each row okay so it's going to be capricorn leo libra scorpio cancer and then so on and so forth till the end till we get to taurus taurus is last so stick around for your reading grab a snack chill out relax i will announce when your reading is coming up so you'll probably hear it if you got me to the side all right you guys and we also do extra things for our last of the night okay so we use extra little charms and cards it's always a surprise okay you guys so don't get discouraged if you are last we're here tuesday through friday um for all the zodiac readings that are public it starts at 6 30 p.m pacific daytime 9 30 eastern that's always the goal to start but usually lately because of my day job i've been getting out late that i start at 7 30 so we might move the time a little bit later i hope you guys don't mind um but yeah we might have to do that because la traffic be trying to keep gate keep your girl but also this new technology with my apps and my tiktok and my spectrum internet connection it just be wilding out okay you guys so we just going to have to, you know, prepare for those things. And we might have to start at 7.30. So keep that in mind. That might be changing in the near future. But right now, it's 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern for all the Zodiac readings, Tuesday through Friday, okay? We do have private subscriber-only chats. If you would like to subscribe, it's on the bottom left of your screen. It has a little star next to the comment section on the bottom left of your screen here on TikTok. It says subscribe. You can subscribe for $5.99, and you can get a one-on-one -on -one reading um, on those days, and that's only on Monday. Monday, okay so next Monday we'll be doing that again okay I do 10 minute personal readings and I also have extra information uh, to share for you guys like pick a cards and like charms and like all these different card decks we use so it's a lot of fun in that chat if you want to join that you're more than welcome to you don't have to but that is an option okay I do also repost all the replays on every video that I live stream okay on my YT okay if y'all don't know what YT is somebody comment it down below because I can't cross promote platforms but i do repost all of the replays of these tiktok live streams on my yt at oracle gang baddie it's spelled the exact same way it's spelled here on tiktok over at the yt okay you guys so definitely uh hit the bio on my tiktok account okay hit that bio and you have all the inf official information on how to navigate to that platform and any other platforms okay you guys so that's my little quick little uh, plug and we just gonna go get back to the capricorn relationship reading because it's it's juicy <laughs> you see it's juicy all right so this is definitely going to give me soulmate energy here okay keep in mind your soulmate may differ than your usual type and expectation yes this is your soulmate y'all okay so whoever it is that's in and around your relationship or in and around you right now um who you consider as a relationship right now is your person whether or not you you've question that uh that's a question that you needed to answer to recently or within the past few months um whatever it is there's something here that this person is your soulmate okay believe it or not spirit said to ring the sound bowl because somebody tried to negate it this person is your soulmate okay um but there is something going on here that's very very beautiful let's see on the other side of the deck here you deserve love see all right so the person that you are with right now capricorn for those who are resonating with this it's not going to resonate with everybody it might not be even in your collective energy if this doesn't resonate for you but for some in, in capricorn who are capricorns in relationships you do have um soulmate energy here you do deserve love with this person could possibly be with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be i do see water sign energy here cancer pisces scorpio okay so keep that in mind um when we're thinking about this person okay let's just roll this dice really quick because i just want to confirm that Scorpio, like I said, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We have water sign energy coming out. 
and some more water sign energy like it didn't change so a lot of my capricorns you could be a water sign we have taurus energy okay you could have taurus in your chart capricorn but also taurus energy is definitely earth sign energy capricorn taurus virgo we're in your energy okay i just need to clarify that real quick let's see what comes out in the cosmic insights pertaining to those in relationships that are clearly successful here there's nothing to watch out for so let's see what spirit is talking about when it comes to relationships for those in uh relationships capricorn here we go here we go this is for sun moon rising or venus placements all my readings so if you're sticking around to kind of like cross watch for other placements in your chart uh, you may get additional messages, but use your discernment because, you know, it's not your sun sign. So you got to use your discernment. OK, um, ooh, we have confession here. Someone has something to tell you. So this is for this is for people in successful relationships. But I think someone from the past is trying to tell you something or coming back to you because I do get here. If you are in a stop go relationship with this ex. Or this ex you've already left and you're in a new connection with somebody else. You're being told someone is a waste of time, unavailable, and it's over. So whoever has a confession to make to you, if they're in your energy or they come around while you're in a relationship. Or if you're on and off with this person, there is a confession here. Something is being revealed, okay? If it wasn't already revealed the last full moon, which was in Aries, there's a lot of taking action there with Aries. But there is this energy of someone could have had something to tell you, all right? Or someone else looking onto this situation had something to tell you. So maybe their friend's friend or your friend's friend heard it through the grapevine and he said, she said, and then they come tell you that someone is unrequited here. There's not enough love or attraction to keep this relationship going, okay? But it, I feel like there's, there's, there's two people energy here. It's like I'm getting that for my Capricorns in a successful relationship or you're maybe you're already talking to somebody. This is somebody this soulmate energy could be somebody in a when we talk about relationships, we talk about people who are in your energy, whether you've been with them for a week, a month, a year. It doesn't matter. It's whoever's in your energy right now. Keep an open mind. This person is a soulmate. You do deserve love. However, I do see someone else coming back around to give you a confession between now and the end of the holidays to say oh i've seen you happy with this person but i really want to offer you my cup of love and i know it didn't work out in the past so then i see you juggling two options here you're being told to move on or this is the decision you'll end up making because whoever or whatever somebody's confess confessing here they want to they want to move forward with you but you want to move on to or keep keep being in the energy of wherever you're at where you're happy at um, but then for my others, I do see that this is someone who you are on and off with. OK, so for those of you in a relationship, Capricorn, where it's on and off, this person could be a soulmate, but they, someone keeps messing things up or they look at you as a soulmate. But you're looking at them like, nah, this ain't it. And you keep trying to move on, but they keep confessing to you something new that keeps you staying. Why am I getting that energy? That's really manipulative. Okay, so let's see if this is an ex. What do they have to say? And then we'll move on to Leo's. Anybody resonate with this? Because this is really all over the place. This is messy. All right, here we go. What do we have? What does the ex want to say or this person that's in and out want to say? What do they really want to say with the hidden truth? What is something that's hidden that they're not saying? I don't react when people mention you. So this person tries to play it cool when friends or family members are like, oh, what happened to so-and-so? And they're like, oh, yeah, it just didn't work out. But on the inside, they're literally crying and dying on the inside. Like, oh, my God, I want them back. I wish I treated you better. See, on the bottom of that. Mm-hmm. I wish I treated you better. Why is it always when, you know what, I'm not going to say nothing. But you know what I was about to say. Anyways. We both know I'm not the one for you. Like I said, unrequited, move on. Y'all both know this. If this person comes back around or if this person, like, because they were trying to gamble your love, they were playing with you. So there's that energy here. It's 
Spirit is saying move on or that you will make this decision or the best decision is to move on because this person didn't realize what they had till it was gone. And they're going to try and say anything and everything and do anything and everything to get you back in their good races. But this isn't going to be the person for you. You're good where you're at, Capricorn. If you're in a successful relationship and this person comes back around, it's only because they're reminiscing and they're realizing things a little too late. Or if this is the person already in your energy who's in and out and you're ready to move on from it, this is your message. It's fine. You can move on. You have a soulmate. You deserve you deserve something else elsewhere and it will be coming into you. Um, see, as I'm clearing the deck, it says I regret lying to you on the bottom. So I was just about to put these away, but I always shuffle before I put it away. And that's what was at the bottom. So that's just further clarification for my Capricorns in two different types of relationships. I was getting both of those messages, you guys. If that resonates for you, please give this... Um, this TikTok at Oracle Gang Betty a follow so you can see all of your readings for your zodiac sign as soon as I start live streaming, okay? So that we're in on time in the room, okay, you guys? And you can drop that zodiac sign when you first get in. All right, so my Capricorns were first, but you know what? You know what I did? I messed up because Libras were supposed to be actually first because it's their birthday season. And I don't know if anybody told me in the chat, but I completely either didn't see your message and I completely missed it. So, Libras, you have. You have all the right to yell at me because I did say y'all was supposed to be going first your whole season. And Capricorns went first. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. I messed up. I was just all over the place today, so excuse me. But Capricorn is done. We're going to go straight to Libra. I'm going to put a little balloon here. You know what's crazy? When I first started live streaming, I actually remembered and I said, I'm going to put a balloon next to their name. And I completely forgot because I forgot what happened in the chat that I got distracted about. But now we're right on track. So we're going to go Libra, then Leo, then Scorpio Cancer. Okay, you guys, we're going to jump around, but don't worry. I got it under control now. All right, here we go. What? No, Leo, bro. Calm down, Leos. Y'all are third, okay? You're lucky you're just not Taurus. I'm sorry, Taurus. Taurus came into the chat late, okay, you guys? She skipped Leo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because... This is why I'm doing it, you guys, because Libra's is Libra season and it's their happy birthday season, okay? I know y'all don't mess with Leo or Libra's because y'all are Leo's, but um, it is their birthday season and when it's your birthday season, we do the reading, we start off with you every month and I completely forgot that's my fault, y'all, okay? I don't want no smoke, but if you got smoke to give, it's fine. All right, I'll take, a, I'll take all the smoke, but y'all are literally next, okay? So it's going to be Libra, Leo, then Scorpio. It'll take five seconds, y'all. Y'all just better be grateful y'all not last. Like I said, Taurus is probably in the chat yelling at y'all like, at least y'all not last. <laughs> okay. Then Capricorn shouldn't have went. Nina, no-ish. I think I know that, Nina. But thank you for that clarification. <laughs> we are already doing Capricorn. <laughs> If I would have remembered during the reading, I would have stopped everything and aborted mission. But I literally did not see it until now. All right, you guys. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. It's your Oracle Gang baddie up in the building. Drop your signs in the chat, definitely. And let me know if you guys are still here, ready for the readings. We're going to go on to Libra first because it's their birthday season for the rest of the month. So if y'all got a problem with it, y'all can leave the live stream. But it's literally my fault that I forgot. Sorry, Libras. I have to apologize to Libras, but I also have to apologize to Leos because they up here igniting the flame in the chat. And I know you guys are fire signs, but relax. Everybody calm down. All right. So the two cards that fell down for Libras is going to be um, worth waiting for. Everybody in their feelings. I know it's because we had a full moon. It's okay. I love y'all. I really do. But can y'all just relax? We will get to everybody's reading. <laughs> for real like i really love y'all but everybody calm down <laughs> everything's gonna be okay the world's not ending and we got through covid yeah awesome all right here we go worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and we also have a wedding we have wedding here okay you guys very very beautiful energy coming through for my libras okay this is going to be libras um singles okay we're starting off with singles every reading we're starting off with singles and then we're doing relationships 
So singles, you do have something worth waiting for. When we get the wedding card, it's not necessarily, since you're single, it's not talking about an actual wedding. It's talking about someone who sees you as their hubby wifey material, okay? It's someone who is of that energy, okay? Hubby wifey material, they either look at you like this or this is you looking at them like this, okay? Um, bottom of the deck, they could be coming in divine timing, like I said, worth waiting for with the angel card here saying religious factors. It says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So we do have this energy here, you guys, of that you are going to be connected to somebody, Libra, all right, who sees eye to eye with you. This isn't going to be a person who disagrees a lot with what you have to say because they don't really need to because you guys see eye to eye. There is this equal give and take when it comes to your perspective on the world, on each other, on love, on life on family things right so there is a beautiful spiritual path you guys share together okay and this is why this is coming out let's see what comes out here with the cosmic insights for my libras who are single this is the person coming towards you we're getting a predictive energy for you for my libras who are single there's something worth waiting for i don't know if you had to if you've been in the dating scene for some of you you actually have been in the dating scene and there's something um there's something that's about to happen that you don't actually see coming. And when it does, it's going to surprise you. When we're talking about wedding here, we're also talking about commitment. So the next person that you meet is going to want to scoop you up. I don't know if they want to put a ring on it, but they're definitely going to solidify things in a full commit committed relationship. Okay, you guys. So definitely uh, tap in to that. Okay, when that person comes in around, don't, don't miss out. Okay, so for some of you, you you date the same sex, so you date, um, you you know you know how it is. He she they y'all y'all know where y'all at. But there's this energy here, okay? Um, somebody could be of teetering between the two. They could be bisexual. I do see that energy here, or someone who has figured themselves out lately. If this isn't if this isn't you, this is the person coming towards you. They know that they want to be with your specific gender. They know where their desires lie or whatever so like they're not looking they're not going to be looking at anybody else or anything else right when it comes to a person they they know that they want to be with you or this is something that you figured out libras and you know where you want to be in the dating scene and what type of person you would like to date okay so that's definitely giving me that energy there with that card we also have bottom of the deck honeymoon phase so someone um is attending someone's wedding it could be possibly a wedding that is you're going to be attending very soon very possible that you could be attending a wedding soon but what i'm getting from this intuitively is that i do feel like when you meet this person y'all are going to be so like lovey-dovey and up each other's like you know what i mean <laughs> that you guys are going to be so in love so puppy puppy love energy okay there is this honeymoon phase this honeymoon energy y'all gonna be into each other when i say into each other y'all gonna be literally into each other but also figuratively into each other okay yes yeah, so no now is not the right time now is not the right time for this person to come around but it is worth waiting for so someone is coming towards you honestly they could be taking a plane to come see you libras or that you're taking a plane to go see this person she could be on the other foot here i do get that that you could have already known this person or they know you and you guys could have been talking on and off for my single libras okay there is that energy here for some of you libras who are in a relationship i do feel like it's worth waiting for uh to see how this this relationship with your person pans out for those in libra who are libras in relationships we're getting into libra relationships now for those of you um who are in relationships we have worth waiting for here worth waiting for this is worth waiting to see how it pans out in a connection okay i do see someone who is potentially thinking of proposing to you libras if you are in a loving connection in a healthy connection i do see that this person looks at you as their end all be all okay and i do feel like they're looking towards the future with this religious factors card yeah you guys have a lot in common yeah you guys share the same spiritual beliefs or religious path or something like that but there is this energy here of like um there is this energy here of like this is fast moving or this is going to come as like an unexpected excited kind of thing for you you kind of feel it coming but at the same time you're unsure if it's actually going to happen spirit is telling me the next committed 
part of your relationship is going to happen. So for most of you, this is going to be the person proposing or y'all are actually planning a wedding physically right now. Or this is the, the person in your energy. If they're if you're new, if you're fresh, new in a connection, this is them making them your them making you your boyfriend or girlfriend. OK, so I do see that here for those in relationships. Let's see what's on the other side very soon like i said you know how it said no worth waiting for a lot of this energy is coming but it's not going to be right away it's going to be it's going to be more it's going to take more time for this to unfold which is why it's worth waiting for it's not going to happen right away and there is no exact timing it's in divine timing so if you stick around with this person if you stay in this relationship you will actually see this come through but it isn't going to be very soon there's something you guys have to experience or go through together in order to um see this happen or see this come through for those libras in connections okay there is something worth waiting to see how it pans out okay so that is that message for my libra gang gang in the building you know all right, so um, let's see, let's see. You could have been going through a lot of murky and retrograde things. I want to say within the past two or three months, it was probably rocky for my Libras in relationships. But this person um, definitely, I want to say this person definitely has gotten their stuff together or they know exactly what they want or vice versa. You got your stuff together, you know exactly what you want. Or you guys talk things out and there's some type of communication that happened post retrograde after retrograde if you guys are into mercury retrograde you know what i'm talking about we're getting into the letters for you spirit is telling me to pull letters for libras okay so we're gonna get into the letters for you like i said when i do all the zodiac readings spirit just guides me to the next thing so not every reading is gonna have the same stuff okay you guys so now yell at me all right, so we have a number six here. I do see that it's not going to happen right away, but it could happen within the next six months for my singles and for those in relationships. You could see things panning out in love within the next six months. So between now and the end of the year and between next year, uh, January through March, okay? No later than March, okay? So springtime, there's springtime energy. I do get somebody planning a wedding in springtime. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I'm also getting a Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. So, or it could be a Mrs. and Mrs. or a Mr. and Mr. But there is this energy of this person proposing or looking at you as the longevity of the relationship. For a lot of you who are single or a lot of you who are in relationships, this person, regardless, whoever this person is, or it could be you, y'all look at each other as hubby wifey material or hubby hubby material, wifey wifey material, okay? There's beautiful energy here on the spread. Um, a letter that could be in their name in their first middle or last initial okay the first letter of their first middle or last name could be a O. I also see a zero here this is a fresh this is like the the calm before the fresh new beginning okay there's something that has to start at zero in order to get to be successful or to be at a hundred right so it's like going from zero to a hundred in the relationship but in a good way in a positive way there's things happening for you okay i also get the letter b first middle or last name initial the letter b okay this is your person okay person in your energy for for those in relationships or a person who's coming towards you if you are single a d first middle or last name initial i do get someone has a dog or like a bearded dragon i don't know why i got that it's so funny they have like some type of reptile or an actual fur baby <laughs> that's funny all right and then i also got um a z first middle or last name initial a z and also a p first middle or last name initial i also got papoose i don't know if uh someone has a nickname papoose or they like that artist or something but there's something there with that and then i also see like pez someone has the first middle or last name as pez or they like eating those pez like the pez the old candy from like the 80s or 90s i think it was called pez and it comes like in that little plastic container and it like it almost looks like little pills but it's candy anyways that's gonna be your reading libras it was a little extra longer because i want to do a little extra something for libras because i skipped them and then on top of that it's their birthday season so i messed up twice but thank you, Leos, for sticking around and waiting for your reading. I hope, Libras, you were able to get messages of advice, guidance, 
or something to look forward to um, when it comes to your reading. We'll be back here tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. For those of you who are new or coming back, that's when we're live streaming Tuesday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern for all the zodiac signs, okay? You guys can stick around for the other zodiac signs if you want to cross watch or if you guys want to watch for your other placements in your zodiac chart if you know your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement and you want additional messages, okay? Now we're currently on Leo. Thank you, Tara Lynn. I got my moderator in the chat. Please block anybody who's here not of love and light. I know I cleanse the space and they're about to get it anyway from ancestors and angels, but if we can get them out of the chat too, that would be amazing. So that way everybody in the chat doesn't get distracted with their energy. All right, so we're moving on to Leo's. Where's my Leo gang gang in the building? Comment below if you're a Leo. Say I'm here. Leave your emoji, etc., etc. I'm going to wait for all my Leos to pull up on me because I love my Leos. I'm crying. I love my Leos. I'm surrounded by Leos, you guys. That's why we was fighting earlier because I love Leos. Like, I'm literally surrounded by Leos. And I would tell it like it is. And Leos just always clap back. Like, I love my Leos. I have a lot of Leos and Sagittarius around me in my life, so pull up on me. Be ready for your reading, my loves, and I'm sorry for making y'all wait, but y'all had to because I know if it was your season, y'all would be in your feelings if I skipped you too, okay? So it's only fair, and thank you for being patient. Thank you, so Thank you, Petty, or Pretty. <laughs> I said Petty. Pretty. Thank you, Pretty. Thank you, girls, for the roses. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Like I said, please give me a follow here at TikTok at Oracle Gang Betty if you are new here. And if you are OG coming back, thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Vibes. Thank you, Vibes, for the fireball emojis. And thank you, Miss Madeline. Okay, for the roses and banana. <laughs> That's bananas. Um, we got Shetty. And we also got Jamina in the chat. Jamina was in the chat yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> Miss Boyd. Holla at your girl, okay, Heather. I see you coming back. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new here, if you are a newbie here, please give me a follow at Oracle Gang Daddy for all your zodiac needs. We're gonna tap into Leo's energy. Tap, 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 beam, wrist on glitter. All right, here we go. Okay, Leo's, I got a lot for you. Relationships and singles. Let's just talk about it. Mm hmm. It's about to get real. Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. If I don't see it, it's because I'm looking at the spread now and I don't want to get distracted with all the goodness that's happening because I get way too excited and I lose my train of thought. But keep that in mind. I do see it. All right, and I appreciate you. All right, here we go. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, the reason why this is here, for a lot of my Leos, you have been battling with like a dark night of the soul or like some type of shadow side to yourself, something that was deep rooted, something that you had a deep dive about that you didn't really want to touch on. It could be within yourself or it could be your partner within someone else or this is something that you guys share. But for the majority of y'all, I want to say it's my Leo's and I want to say it's something that you had to release from the past, whether it was energetically or emotionally or physically a person, place or thing that you were attached to. It could be a behavior, a pattern or person, etc. But it's something deep. OK, and it was something that you brought to the surface. You addressed. you forgave and learned from the past. You forgave yourself, you forgave others or you're working on this or some type of healing that's deep rooted. So you're going to know what I'm talking about because you're going to be like, wow. She right, okay? And that's how you're going to know that this is your message, okay? So for singles or people in relationships, that is definitely going to be your thing. And this is such a beautiful thing for you to for you to be experiencing at this time. I just want to sidebar that. This is meant to happen. This means that you are leveling up in your spiritual journey. So just sidebar, you getting a little bit wiser in the in the arena of spirit, okay? Your own spiritual connection to source, to creator, to mother earth. So you're 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 getting back to your soul self, which is really, really interesting. And a lot of y'all, your third eye is opening up. So that's very, very beautiful. And when I say third eye is opening up, you're starting to see things you didn't notice before. You're starting to appreciate things you didn't notice before. There's this energy of like rose colored glasses are off, everything's revealed, and now you know exactly what you do need to do, who you need to be around, how you need to move, what you need to set boundaries on and etc 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 this is very healthy healing going on for my leo's relationship or not this is you all right so we also have deception here someone is wearing a mask in this relationship i do feel like this was your energy this is what you're forgiving and learning about yourself or 
if this is shoe on the other foot, for some of you it will be. This is saying that you are forgiving and learning from somebody who was deceptive towards you. But I do want to say, um, in order to draw somebody who's deceptive towards you, you almost have to look at yourself because that's a mirror energy. So there's something that someone triggered you to be in, okay, in that energy of deception too. So maybe you weren't showing your true self, you were hiding a few things about yourself, or you revealed some things about your past that you were ashamed of towards a person, and this was kind of the mask coming off or you forgiving yourself for holding that in for so long and the person you're in and around right now whether you're dating them or whether they're just in your energy as a friend or whatever there's something that you are sharing that is deeper that is exposing you and being vulnerable and this is opening your heart chakra which you don't realize in return is going to bring you true love okay if you don't already have it but there is something that's happening here that's a transformation you could have been seeing 555 a lot lately you could have been seeing 1010 there's a lot of endings and new beginnings happening but there's a lot of endings and transformation there's things changing within you which is going to change your reality outside of you okay this is very important when it comes to love i'll tell you why because you're bringing in true love here if you don't have love for some of my Leos, if you don't have love and you're single, you're bringing in true love. For those of you who are in a relationship, this is the energy that you were in while you were with your person. Whether you were with them for a long time or whether you started dating them, it doesn't matter how short or long you've been with this person. This is true love because this person is open to listening to whatever it is, whatever deep, dark secrets you have, whatever skeletons in the closet you bear. They're, they're willing to listen and willing to understand you. A lot of people would have left with some of the stuff that y'all was hiding Okay, or this could be vice versa. You're there for the person who's hiding behind certain masks, certain things, certain shadows of themselves. You are now walking in your truth, uh, speaking in your truth and living in your truth so much so that you are calling in true love or this person respects you. Okay, on a level of I respect you. I love you. Homie, lover, friend type energy. Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy here for a lot of my Leos who are single and in relationships. I do want to say this is very transformative. This is giving me like high priestess, high priest energy. Okay. You don't even know this is happening. For some of you, you don't realize that this is happening, but this is you. This is happening subconsciously or consciously. All right. I do see that here. You're going to want to um, retreat with your person. If you are with your true love, this is y'all like embracing each other again and uh, rekindling the flame or just becoming closer because you guys understand each other on a deeper level. You guys addressed each other their shadows you guys have had the conversations the tough conversations that needed to be had and you guys are going to want to travel together you're going to want to unplug from the world the regular everyday hustle and bustle of the matrix and you're going to want to be free you're going to want to uh dive deep and dive deep within each other's love but also experience the world around you solo dolo but just by yourselves like together like together by yourselves like y'all are just like the dynamic duo ready to take the next the next flight out first class let's go you're like i i see somebody saying f it i'm just by first class who cares mm -hmm. i see somebody just being like yolo i'm about to get first class for the first time for some of you it'll be first time for others of you, you're just going to want to retreat with this person. You're going to want to spend more quality time with this person. I get this for my Leos a lot. A lot of y'all are in the energy of like your love language or your person's love language or both of y'all love language. One of them is quality time. For a fact. All right. It is safe for you to love. Okay. With the person that you're with. So if you've been thinking about it, if you guys gone through trials and tribulations, if, you, if you've gone through a lot of forgiving and learning and deception, this person is safe for you to love them and them to love you there is some type of safe here safe zone i'm getting someone who has the codes to your heart to your mind to your body soul and spirit more more like your soul someone has a code from someone has the code to your soul and vice versa you have the code to theirs it's a code that's like it, it, it's only divinely guided for y'all to be together or for y'all to retreat and go on these journeys together okay there's something really beautiful coming from this leo connection okay for those of you who are in relationships for those of you who don't have this relationship yet you about to because there's true love coming towards you because you're learning to live in your truth you're learning to be unapologetically you you're learning to let go of the mask you're learning to be deeper you're learning to be more real where you thought you were being real now you're actually being real you feel me there's this energy of that i love to see it yeah so it is safe for you to love welcome in 1.1k welcome into the live stream welcome into the leo reading we just finished capricorn and libra we're in, we're on leo spread okay let's get the initials here the initials here to close out the reading for my leos it is safe for you to love i don't get nothing bad here y'all 
singles and relationships. For some of you who are, who who are in the connect, are in a connection where you guys forgave and learned from the deception and you're still together. For some of you, you guys forgave and learned the past, learned from the past, whether that was within you or someone you shared it with. And this is why you called in true love. For others of you, you learn more about somebody's mask, somebody's shadows, and you accept them for who they are or they accept you for who you are. And this is what unlocks true love. This is the code to the safe that I'm talking about. For a lot of you, you have the code to your person. It's like a safe. And you were like, do, 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 do. And then it was like, and it opened. Smoke comes out and it's abundance. <laughs> it's abundance left. It's literally, it's the perfect setup. It's almost too good to be true, Leos. But mm -hmm, for a lot of y'all, you guys are going to negate that. But that's true. All right, here we go. So we have a D, first middle or last name initial. This will further clarify. It doesn't have the letters don't have to match the spread of the cards. This is just the extra icing on the cake for the reading. So a D, first middle or last name initial, this other person can have. Okay. I do see a zero here. Yeah, these endings of cycles, things that have happened before, cycles, karmic cycles in the past, things have ended. The mask has came off. We're starting back at zero, okay? Zero is before the one. It's like the nothing before the something. Beautiful energy here. We have a letter C, first middle or last name initial of this person, either in your energy or coming towards you. An F, first middle or last. These are the initials, you guys, the first letter in the first middle or last name. K, we also get an A. Ooh. We also have a C, we have two Cs. They could have two Cs in their first middle or last name. Or in one of those areas, they can just have a double C in their name somehow. And a B, first middle or last name initial. So that's going to be extra clarification for those of you who aren't believing it or whatever. Or just need that extra oomph to add to the cake of the, of the spread. But if the cards resonated for you, this is your message. If the cards and the letters mes resonated with you, this is your message. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I also get that somebody... Um, so it's going to be really specific. Somebody likes, uh, first of all, somebody likes DC Comics. Somebody's really into anime or uh, some type of like superhero cartoon thingy thing. That could be you or your person. That's going to be further clarification. For others of you, um, there's somebody here who likes FK Twigs. I don't know who you know. FKA Twigs, formerly known as Twigs, the artist. Someone likes them or looks like them. That's going to be for some of my Leos. And for others of you, um, I was getting that somebody is like a cab driver or an Uber driver or a Lyft driver. So that's going to be your further confirmation or clarification. All right, you guys. So that's going to be the messages for my Leos. I hope that li lived up to y'all expectations because I know y'all, I skipped y'all and y'all was giving me all the smoke. But listen, we can argue every day and I'll still love y'all. So don't start with me. All right. Thank you so much for your reading, Leos. Thank you for allowing me to tap into your energy. We're going to move on to Scorpios. Where's my Scorpio gang gang in the building? Damn. Welcome in. Welcome in. I appreciate y'all. And also come back for the readings. Come back for the readings. You're more than welcome to stick around for to cross watch the readings for someone else. Or if you have other placements in your zodiac chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements, you're more than welcome to stick around for my Leos. Okay. So, um... But if this is where we depart, just make sure you're following the right Oracle Gang Baddie. There are a lot of impersonators out there on the TikTok right now that have multiple accounts. I think I found like 50 now. So now there's 50 impersonators. Okay, you guys, I'm the real OGB here on TikTok. So uh, pull up on me. Okay, pull up on the proper account and the proper live stream. Okay, I do this on a daily Tuesday through Friday for the Zodiac readings that are public. Um, to my followers and things like that that's going to start at 6 30 p.m pacific daytime 9 30 eastern and for those of you who are private subscribers to my tiktok thank you for the target and those of you who are private sub subscribers to my tiktok we do the private one-on-one -on -one subscription only chat and that's going to be the live stream where we do the personal readings up to 10 minutes for each person. Subscribe on the bottom left of your screen here on TikTok if you want to be a part of that gang. Okay, that's the Oracle gang. That's um, that's subscribers only. Okay, we do that every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. We go, we get, we get the charms. We get the, we get the letters. We get the cards. We got all the goodies. Okay, we get the dice. We do, we do all that, all that. 
and you also get a badge next to your name so i don't know if you've seen honey honey's already my subscriber honey is here we are going to be on monday 6 30 p.m pacific daytime 9 30 eastern for my subscribers honey had gang next to her name the reason why she has that badge is because she's a subscriber i also have emotes emojis that you can use in the chat okay for only my subscribers only okay so make sure you're subscribed here on the tiktok okay there's a tiktok subscription if you want to see the replays to any one of my readings you can subscribe for the free -E, okay on yt at oracle gang baddie if you would like to subscribe over there but when we're talking about tiktok subscriptions it's going to be the live stream reading that's for subscribers only here on mondays okay look it she put it you know oh my gosh honey she put the t emoji i literally made those me and my partner made those on the photoshop so i hope you guys enjoy them they're there for you to use if you are my subscriber they're exclusive to only the gang okay the ogs in the chat you know you see honey she's leaving a bunch all right you guys so thank you so much for being here we're going to start scorpio's reading ashe only that a love and light is allowed in the space let's tap into scorpio's you know what do we have for scorpio's singles and relationships we're going to start off with singles what do we have for scorpio's that are single let go of control issues on the bottom crowning the spread the end of it we have getting to know each other, calling in your soulmate in the reverse. You deserve love in the in the upright. And we also have letting go of control issues on the bottom of the deck. Uh, love yourself first in reverse on the other side of it. So let me break this down for my uh, uh, Scorpios. I don't know if you took a... a I don't know if my Scorpios took a deep exhale recently, but someone's irritated, someone's stressed, or taking a deep exhale. It has to do with relationships, and you are a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So, um, single relationships, that's my precognitive feeling. Someone exhaled, someone was like, <sighs> like, you know what I mean? When you exhale the BS and you inhale the good stuff, that's what's happening for a lot of my Scorpios, okay? Um, it says, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I do feel like there's someone who you got to know better on a deeper level for my singles who are dating or have somebody who's fresh in their new energy. Um, there is this energy of like you're dating, you're getting to know multiple people. You have multiple options for my single Scorpios. We'll get into relationships next in just a moment. But I'm going to tap into the single Scorpios. But there is... There is this energy of like you're getting to know a lot of people and you're just not impressed because we have calling in your soulmate in the reverse. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed, but I feel like I just heard Scorpios being like, this ain't it. Like, I'm not impressed. Like, you think it's you think it's like from some of my Scorpios who are single. It's like you think you found the one or you think you've been with somebody or you found somebody and then they do something or say something. They are like, yeah, they ain't the one. This ain't it. And then you just pivot and you go to the next option. Oh, my God. Like, that's really, really funny the way it's coming through and the way spirit is giving it to me. But that's literally what's happening. And that's not supposed to be funny. So I'm sorry if somebody feels offended. But literally, your energy just made me laugh. So thank you for the laugh because I needed that today. Uh, but, um... Yeah, there is this there is this information coming through in your spread. It says getting to know each other, but no one is impressing you. But you know you deserve love elsewhere. But it's like it's like you're okay for my Scorpios who are single. We're working on singles. You're 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 deserving of love, and it is elsewhere. However, you have control issues on who it's gonna be, what they're gonna look like, how you're not impressed. How it's like, you don't want to, you don't, for some of you, you don't even feel like getting to, it's like you've went on so many dates or you're, you're, you're dreading going on dates. I don't know if you've already gone on them or you're dreading going on them, but it's like, I don't, I just heard a Scorpio say, I don't want to have to get to know somebody all over again. I don't want to have to ask them their favorite color, or what they like to wear, or where they like to shop or what kind of food they like or what their love language is. Like somebody is like, I don't know if you've said that out loud recently to your friends or to yourself or just in general like but there is this energy of that like you're just over it male or female you're over it for my scorpio energy <laughs> so spirit is saying let go of control issues allow them to to handle the wheel right let the universe take the wheel on where it is that you are driving towards like let let your 
let you let yourself be uh guided like your internal gps like guide you towards your person or guide you towards the right group of people that you'll be in and around dating but um yeah there is this energy of like spirit wants you to let go a little bit because y'all are doing the most that's what spirit said but like that's my interpretation of it spirit probably said it nicer but like you know how we talk like y'all are doing the best but it's not like to be offensive it's just saying like you know they want you to let go okay they want you to allow things to happen for you all right here we go so then it says love yourself first all right so love yourself first is in the reverse i do feel like um for some of you i since it's on the other side of let go of control issues and it's in the reverse for some of you who are single you let go of somebody who wasn't allowing you to love yourself first um in the connection it's like they wanted to control how it is that you did things for you so for example say you wanted to go get your nails done or you wanted if you're a guy you wanted to go get a haircut this person was like no why do you have to do that today at this time there's gonna be so much traffic why don't you just stay here why don't you just do it tomorrow like there's something of like they try to change your loving yourself so that was the control issue it's like you deserve love away from that is what spirit was guiding me to. But I'm gonna, then I also get that letting go of control issues could be letting go of allowing yourself to naturally give to yourself, naturally put yourself into um, put yourself into a self love self care routine. All right, not trying too hard to self love self care just because you got a date tomorrow. Not spending that extra money that you know you don't need to spend just because you have a date in 24 hours. And then you got your hair done or you got this done and now you're broke. Like Spirit is saying, just relax. I don't know who needs to hear that. But anyways, we're on Scorpio singles. All right, I had to take a sip of my coffee. All right, so let's get into uh, relationships. Spirit is saying uh, to clear the board for the Scorpios in relationships. Interesting. So we're just going to follow that intuitive guidance. And see what's going on for Scorpios in relationships. So this is someone who is in and around your energy right now that you're dealing with. Um, or someone who you're in a relationship with, okay? It's the person you're thinking about, okay? For my Scorpios. And then we'll move on to Cancers after this. So Cancers, just be ready for the read. Not yet, though. All right, so what do we have for my Scorpios in relationships? Scorpio in relationships, when it's two relationships and those in and around their energy what do we have for they're telling me to split the deck so let's do that really quick let's follow direction all right here we go bottom of the deck heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay who has their throat chakra blocked because somebody isn't fully saying what they want to say but also, there could be a lot of this going on. So for half of you in relationships, it's going to be that someone's heart chakra is blocked because that's what I intuitively, meditatively got while looking at this. And for others of you, you're going to be giving yourselves like really good conversations with your person. So there's positive communication, but then there's also an uncertainty. So whatever side of the fence you're on <laughs> is going to be that, okay? Let's see why. On the other side of the deck, forgiving and learning. Someone's confessing something to you, uh, possibly Scorpios who resonate with this. This is going to be a, a group of my Scorpios in the collective who are in this energy of this relationship. Specifically, when I go to break this down, this is not going to be for everybody. Very specific message coming in. This is heart-to-heart -heart conversations about forgiving and learning. Okay, so you guys could have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. For those of you who are in relationships on the one side of the fence where you're in a relationship, you're having heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you're getting to know the person a little bit deeper, you find out that their past was really crazy. <laughs> like something that you don't know that you didn't realize like maybe you knew that they lost their car right and, you, and then you, and you're like always having to pick them up male or female it doesn't matter your gender it's just we're talking about energy we're talking about people in general okay right so your person or you has lost their car and you express to them in the beginning of the relationship you express to them oh i lost my car but then you find out later on that the reason why they lost their car is because their ex hit their car with a sledgehammer, then they lost their job, and then they ended up tripping over a rock and they broke their foot, and then like all this crazy stuff happened. Like there's something that uh, they share that they realize um, that they could share with you or, or, or is safe to share with you. 
So there is that energy here that's going to further clarify that this is your message or that there's something here that you need to pick up from the reading. But there is, <laughs> there is this uh, energy of that. I don't know why I'm getting that, Scorpio. It's kind of making me chuckle because this person was trying to like trying to like uh, reflect on why they have blessings after these lessons it's like a lesson after a blessing or a blessing after a lesson type energy coming through and it's like they're finally telling you so there is that beautiful connection here for those in relationships who are scorpios but then i also get for those in relationships who are scorpios on the other side of the fence there's two scorpio energies uh, collectives that i'm channeling right now the other scorpios are having heart to heart conversations about someone they have to forgive and learn from okay in the connection we're going to see where that connection goes as we get more cards in the spread but there is this energy of like what the f like wtf moment okay for a lot of my scorpios and you guys are like i don't know what to do with this information however i'm glad we're having the conversation but it's kind of irritating because why am i finding out this now for a lot of you guys, I'm going to answer that question very easily. We had a super moon, full moon, in Aries. Aries is the sign of taking action. Full moon is the symbol, right, or the energy of things being revealed, things that aren't said, that have gone unsaid, are finally being revealed. And it talks about your emotions as well being the super full moon. So it's that times 10. So people are taking action. I don't know if you realize that within the last week or two weeks or even this week, like people were taking action a lot around this era or this is event of the super full moon to communicate things that gone unsaid or that were hidden based on their true feelings and emotions. Does this make sense? Hopefully this makes sense. So there's something about heart to heart conversations for some of these heart to heart conversations. They didn't end too well. For some of you, you're kind of trying to still figure out what to do with this information. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave this on the spread. For a lot of you, you good, you're going to go into the new direction of new love. Okay, so you, after this heart to heart conversation, you forgave and learned that per learned from that person in that situation. But you're like, it's time for new love. A new romantic person has stirred your feelings. You, for some of you Scorpios that were on that side of the fence, you guys were like, mm -mm, we need one is. And you just pivoted, you moved, you made sure that you changed things up, and you're not dealing with it. Yes, because something had to do with codependency. They were codependent on your energy. This could be your sexual energy. This could be your mental energy. This could be your bank account. It's something about whatever they were codependent on, Scorpio, male or female here, there is that energy of like, you rather go you rather go towards new love because you forgave and learned this codependent person or this codependent situationship. For others of you who are in good connections, you are forgiving and learning. Uh, you are realizing someone, either you or someone that you're with, has forgiven and learned uh, just by uh, learned a lot <laughs> from you, or you learned a lot from them by just by having a heart to heart conversation. This is igniting the connection between you guys. It almost feels like brand new or a fresh start or a clean slate in new love because you're like, wow, I didn't know this person had this type of heart or wow, I didn't know they went through all of this. They could have been homeless for a while and been couch surfing. There's something you find out about this person that they finally share with you and it's like, wow, this is the person I want to be with. This is new love, true love. This is a person that I don't want to let go of or they think of this about you vice versa if you're the person who was couch surfing or something that was revealed that you decided to be like hey i learned from the past and i wanted to share from you share to you a little bit deeper about my experiences in life like there's beautiful conversations a lot of pillow talk being had here okay um you guys could be it says addictions or uh addictions are affecting your romantic love life the reason why this is here is that um someone could have been codependent on the idea of you um, for those of you on this side of the fence where you're having these conversations, someone was codependent on the idea of you having you around, but they didn't realize how much they really appreciate it or how much you have to offer or how grateful they are of being in your energy right now until that super full moon happened. So for a lot of you, this conversation you guys have ignites the spark again in your relationship and this codependency is long and gone or they express to you these addictions or behaviors that they struggled with from the past 
or they struggled with with you and there's this energy of like a rekindling of the flame a reconciliation and it's really really beautiful energy here gorgeous 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 all right so this is definitely um interesting for my scorpio there's a lot of different messages that came through just between the two singles and those in relationships so hopefully that resonated for my scorpios um that is the messages that i got spirit is not guiding me to the charms or the letters so i'm not going to pick those and um i think that's going to be your reading scorpio i'm not really getting guided to be or do anything else with your reading but we love to see it i love to see you guys come back so check back with me or you can stick around to cross watch if you if your person has a sign coming up or you want to watch for your moon rising or venus placements you're more than welcome to stick around but if this is where we depart make sure you're following me here at oracle gang betty on tiktok and also subscribe to my yt because on yt is where i post the recaps the replays of these tiktok live streams okay so just make sure that you um that you are uh subscribed to the yt so you can watch the replay so if you missed it here and you want to rewatch it Definitely subscribe to the YT at Oracle Gang Baddie on the YT. It's spelled the same way here as it's spelled over there on that platform. So make sure that you are going to the right account. All of my official like um, information is in my BIO, okay, here on the platform, okay? So make sure that you are clicking on my PFP up here and getting all of that uh, official information, okay, you guys? So now we're moving on to Cancers in Love and Relationships and also my Cancer Singles. So welcome in, welcome in. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Here we go. Somebody who's a Cancer is really, really sweet. Or if you're dating a Cancer, if you're cross-watching for a Cancer, um, I get that some of you are crossing, cross-watching for a Cancer. Spirit told me to tell me, told me to tell you that they know you're cross-watching for a Cancer. Okay. But for those of you who are cross-watching for a Cancer, or you are a Cancer yourself. There is this energy of someone is really, really sweet or someone has really good head on their shoulder, a really good heart, or they wear their heart on their sleeve. OK, there's this um, there's this energy. OK, um, as soon as I got into the reading, as soon as I started touching these cards again, that's what I got meditatively before getting into the spread. So let's tap in. Here we go. OK, so we just got a chunk literally stuck together. We have separation. This could be the one. Playfulness. <laughs> he ain't sweet. <laughs> I just looked at the screen. Why did I look up as soon as somebody said, he ain't sweet? <laughs> I'm screaming. We're about to tap in and find out. Children. You deserve love. Chemistry. You guys got this stuck together. I do feel like for uh, my cancers in relationships and singles take this how it resonates i'm getting a double message for both so attention to all my cancers um the 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 way the the way the cards came out we have it is safe for you to love on the bottom of the deck we'll get into that in just a second the cards came out stuck and in a stack so for some of my cancers this is going to give you the energy that someone is stuck on you or you're stuck on someone's energy whether it's a good connection or whether it's a negative connection whether it's a healthy connection or a toxic toxico toxica energy there is this energy of something is stuck together like glue like this all right so um i'm getting that intuitively from the cards the way they came out all right so let's tap in for my uh i almost called you guys scorpios you could have been dealing with a scorpio cancer um cancer for your energy for the singles all right, we do have separation here. You could be energetically, physically, or emotionally, take it how it resonates, separated from a person. This is why you're single. Okay, this person could have been the one, but they played too much. You see this? Could have been the one, but they played too much. Okay, someone was immature here. Playfulness is my immaturity card. Also youthful energy here with a playfulness following the children this person could have had children but they had a childlike energy to them they could have been an aries they don't have to be aries is the um the youngest zodiac sign in all the zodiacs they could have been an aries or had strong placement of aries but cancers i'm telling you right now for those of you who are single cancers you had a separation where this person could have been the one but they played too much they played you for a fool they played your heart or something here somebody played somebody and there is this immature energy here, okay? A lot of childlike energy here. A lot of 
na naivety could have been on your end too because you could have been forgiving this person a lot which is why i was getting that cancer energy of like someone's really sweet like a sweetie here someone's definitely hard on the sleeve type person you deserve love elsewhere where you can have chemistry with someone else who is safe for you love because we have you deserve love they could be um an aries leo sagittarius energy coming towards you or already in your energy now after you left somebody so take it how it resonates this could already happen or this is coming towards you depending on where where you're at in the timeline of this but there is this energy of you deserve love you deserve chemistry with somebody you deserve a strong magnetic connection okay there is a high probability or possibility of, from this but first of all for those of you who aren't single yet but you feel like this this is you this is your message to be guided in this direction because it is going to be safe for you to love elsewhere. Beautiful energy. What's on the top of the deck? Let go of control issues. Yeah, you got to let go of this. So my let go of control issue cards is definitely telling me that you have to let go of this and go towards where it is safe for you to love. Let go to be safe to love elsewhere is what it's saying. So let go and be safe elsewhere. Okay, so there is that energy here. We're going to pull a card. Sorry if I tap the camera there. Here we go. Whew. I don't know what it is, y'all, but this energy, oh, it's heavy. Cancers, what y'all got going on? It's making my back hurt. Somebody's back's hurting or somebody works out a lot and so their back is sore. I don't know if this is you or the person that you were dealing with or the person that you're thinking of being with. Someone works out here. There's fitness here coming through energetically on physically how I'm feeling. My back is hurting. Very interesting. Anyways. Here we go. We are tapped into Cancer's energy now. Ooh, it's heavy. I get a lot of heavy energy for my single ca uh, Cancers. We are going to do Cancer and Relationships. Thank you guys for waiting out and holding out. Just wait a second. Date night. Get ready to be wine and dine. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, there's this energy of if you want it. Spirit is saying if you want it and if you want to separate from this person if you haven't yet, you could have a date night elsewhere that is safe for you to love and you have better chemistry with with the new person than you ever did with the old person okay i'm also seeing for those of you who already left this person singles there's this energy of you're going to have a date night almost right away because with this you deserve love after leaving something that was uh unrequited or immature you do have this bow and arrow and you know when, what bow and arrows they get pulled back and it takes a while to hit the target but once you let go it goes pew that's what's happening it took a while for you to let go but when you let go, your bow and arrow energetically hit somebody and someone just falls in love with you. Like that's why there's this chemistry here and it's safe for you to love. And they're going to take you out on a date almost immediately. I do see dinner here. I also see pasta. Feeding me pasta and lobster. <laughs> you guys could like seafood or pasta, but I am getting an Italian restaurant. Somebody will choose for the first date night. It's an Italian restaurant or you're going to order pasta from the menu or the person will order pasta. That's how you're going to know. And I just got that song intuitively. He be feeding me pasta and lasta. I know that's really funny the way spirit comes through through uh, lyrics and messages and stuff through songs. But there is this energy of like spirit is telling me somebody is actually going to go on a dinner date on, at a restaurant. Like the card sometimes it literally the, the picture depicted on it. It doesn't come through exactly. It's always different for every zodiac sign I tap into. The last one, I think it was Capricorn. I was getting movie night before this card came out. And then I saw the card and I was like, yeah, it's definitely the movies. This time it's actually the restaurant. For some of you, this person is going to ask if you want to come back to their place. Or you're going to ask if you, they want to come back to yours to have red wine. Specifically red wine. Somebody collects red wine bottles or they have a lot of red wine bottles. They can't wait to share with somebody. There's that energy here. Give it time. Everything happens in divine timing. Let things flow. Like I said, let it go and let it flow elsewhere. Like I said, for a lot of my cancers, y'all going to have something that flows in almost to you right away. But it's like, give it time, okay? Allow this to come in naturally. Allow things to unfold naturally when you finally meet the person. Don't rush into anything and let go of that old energy. We don't want them. Period. They crusty disgusting dusty <laughs> okay we don't want that anyways um so that's going to be the reading for cancer singles let's go into cancers in relationships yeah. cancer relationships here we go 
Here we go. <laughs> I just looked up at the screen. Somebody said, period. Somebody said something about Olive Garden, but I missed it. It moved too fast. Cancer here. I had a day at Olive Garden today, and I was just about to say, <laughs> you were just talking about drinking wine? I know that's right. <laughs> Pull up on me, Kansas, with the accurate readings. <laughs> so, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you so much. If you are new here, please give me a follow at Oracle Gang Betty for all your Zodiac needs. Tuesday through Friday is when we live stream, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. I also do the subscriber chat only readings, which are more personal, uh, intimate one-on-one -on -one readings. They're available to the public to watch, but the only people who can comment are people who are subscribed to my TikTok. The way to subscribe to my TikTok is clicking the subscribe star at the bottom left of your screen. You'll see it next to the comment. And that's where you can subscribe. We're here every Monday for that. I just started it last Monday or this this Monday that just passed, two days ago, a day ago, whatever. What's today? Tuesday? Anyways, we started on Monday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. So it's the same time. It's just only on Mondays. And we do one-on-one -on -one live readings for 10 minutes each person, which is really exciting. So if you want to subscribe, go subscribe there. You also get other perks, like you get a badge that says gang. You also get emojis that are specifically made for this crew, for um, my Oracle gang. So tap into that. And you get extra little perks that we do during the live stream. I ain't going to tell everybody our secrets because we only do it while we're on the live stream chat. But you already know what it is. For those of you who were there on Monday, thank you so much for being there because it was a lot of fun. The gang is leaving the emotes in the chat, MV. Okay, pull up on me, honey. She said she put all the emojis. I'm making more. There's only seven. I have room for 15. That's what TikTok gave me. TikTok gave me 15 slots for the customized emojis. I do do private sessions. They are pre-recorded. I do do personal readings. They are pre-recorded. The official way to book with me is through my profile here at on TikTok, okay, at Oracle Gang Batty. Please go to the correct one. This is the actual correct account. I know there's a lot of people out there trying to bamboozle and scam you and pose as me, but they're not me. It's the real OGB up in the chat right here, live streaming with you right now. So make sure you're following the right account. I will never solicit you for a reading. I'll never DM you or send you a personal message for a reading. You have to come to me, okay? But the official way to book is in my bio, okay, you guys? So make sure you're pulling up on that, getting the correct information. It's going to be at oraclegangbaddy.com. Oraclegangbaddy.com. All right, you guys. All right, here we go. What do we have for cancers? in relationships and then we'll move on to Aries sorry you guys I just had a quick plug I see a lot of people in the chat all right here we go cancer and relationships cancer and relationships what do we have for cancers dealing with a relationship right now some kind someone in their energy cancer and relationships please and thank you spirit they said cut the deck okay they said stop playing with it Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Why? Flirtatious, because you want to flirt. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, who's in your energy? I don't know if this is your energy. You want to flirt with somebody or somebody wants to flirt with you. But somebody wants to take you on a honeymoon here because we also have another card coming out. I'm sorry, I had the cards way too far away from the camera. We have Retreat, it's time for you to disconnect from the world. Um, Get into it, yeah, with your person. Okay, honeymoon energy here. Enjoy the holiday, the... The bliss of holiday time together is here on the bottom of the deck. And we also have a flirt on the other side of the deck. It said flirt. It's send your lightheartedness energy. You're being flirtatious with your person. Y'all are learning how to flirt again. Or you're very much in this energy that you guys just want to spend time with each other. This is quality time type energy, Cancers. So I don't know if you're dating a Leo. But I was definitely getting quality time for Leo as well when I did their spread. But there is this energy of like you guys are wanting to go literally on vacation with each other. Um, on a honeymoon or on a boat, on a yacht, on a moat. Okay, Paris, Tokyo, China, Africa, where do you want to go? Because this person is going to treat you, okay, not cheat you, okay? So there is this energy of trust as well as I lift up the honeymoon card. We have trust on the bottom of the deck. This person trusts you or you trust them with your heart, mind, body, and soul, okay? Um, there could be a lot, a little bit too much trust because, right, that's a scary place to be, but it looks like it's successful here, okay? I do see that there is some flirtatious energy. 
there's rekindling of the flame there's a lot of let's go on a date let's do this let's do that there's a lot of exploration here okay in the card also we have water a lot in this card which is definitely giving me a uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio water sign energy either you your person obviously that's your energy but either your person is that or they are a Taurus uh, Virgo Capricorn or it could very much be um, of earth sign energy in their moon rising or Venus placement okay so that is what I'm getting intuitively from this let's get the letters to clarify you know what spirit said don't get the letters they said let's get the charm I want to know where y'all going leave it in the chat y'all booking flights I swear if an airplane comes out you guys isn't this ASMR <laughs> that's crazy my new mic is picking up literally everything I know everybody else is going to be mad because they didn't get the charms, but I'm telling you, spirit guides me to different places. I almost got the letters and they were like, nah, charms, because they have messages, all right? This person or you could like music or play an instrument, specifically a guitar is here. I see the bass or a guitar, an acoustic guitar. I see all of that with this guitar energy here, okay? I do get, for a lot of you, your plant daddy or your plant mama, okay, in the chat. You have like a lot of flowers or you like receiving flowers or you have plants in your home or you have your own garden in your backyard for some of you you have your own garden this person helped you build it or helped you uh create it or they like watching you from like the sliding doors like for some of you you have sliding doors to your back outside area and this person you don't know that they watch you sometimes they're on the phone and they just admire you from afar uh planting seeds in your garden or maintaining it so whether you're a male or female you watch this person groom the garden or cut the grass there's type, some type of energy of that and you're like dang my person's fine or i like them or this is beautiful energy i also see during around the holiday times you guys w could be traveling around the holiday times or really deepening your bond in the holiday times something about the holiday times is coming through i do get new year's energy is going to be really significant in some way form or fashion this person has the key to your heart or you're the key to theirs um this is like a major key alert <laughs> dj Khaled pulling up on us all right this person could also be a handyman this person has a hammer here they like to shop at home depot or they like to shop at um lowe's i do see both of those logos coming to mind or coming into my eyesight my mind's eye um, I get that they are always hammering or building something for some of them They're a carpenter for others of them. They're going to be male or female. Like I said gen gender neutral here um, They are someone who likes to fix things around the house or they're mr. Fist it or mrs. Fix it. Okay There's this beautiful energy of like um, a fairy here. It's almost like um, I want to say it's almost like giving me the energy of like a uh, magical or like a uh, I'm getting the song, let me let me explain. I'm getting the song, rain down on me, let your love just fall like raindrops rain on me. I don't know who likes that song, but that came to mind. And it was like a spirit gave me a, a pretty little picture or an image of like glitter, like literally falling on you guys. It's like there's blessings like falling onto you guys or this is how you feel like you can trust fall into this person I don't know it's something magical something magical or you feel magical with this person you feel like you guys can manifest anything or bring things down from the spiritual realm into your physical there's something that you guys are master manifestors or you make magical things happen together power couple energy maybe spirit is giving me something like that with the um, fairy here I also get Peter Pan energy with the fairy and this wheel here this uh rotating wheel from a boat so for a lot of you like i said that yacht that where y'all going y'all going on a yacht a boat a moat a something because there's a wheel here but also this is the wheel of fortune so you guys call in a lot of fortune this is very very good luck energy for those of you who are in successful relationships um this is going to be the, the the people that i'm tapped into in the cancer collective so if you're in a relationship and this isn't you i'm sorry but we're only tapped into this collective of cancers who needed to hear this at this time y'all are about to be retreating with your end all be all this person loves the mess out of you and the same vice versa you love them let's get a clarifying card or like an ending card to this hold on it fell on the floor whoa this card fell on the floor that's crazy oh my gosh i never scream like this and i'm never like usually this shook it but i am shook stop playing with me vacation you will soon be traveling didn't i just say that 
we got the wheel just the just the recap because i know y'all know but we got the wheel and we got the honeymoon and i was talking about vacation this whole time look at the card that falls on the floor maybe y'all going to a couple's retreat or something yeah i can't handle it cancers we're tapped into your energy that was amazing let's move on okay let's go to aries aries pull up on me hopefully cancers you got the messages that you expected and if you didn't it's okay. Don't get discouraged. You can pull up on me any day of the week, Tuesday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern is when we're live streaming and when we're doing these Zodiac readings with your favorite Oracle Gang Baddie in the building. So make sure you're following me here on TikTok at Oracle Gang Baddie for all your Zodiac needs. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Moving on to Aries. Where are my Aries? I will let you know how this plays out. Okay, Madeline. Let me know. Keep me posted because we're always trying to hear the updates. Somebody put the T emojis in the chat. For some of you cancers, as a closing message, I just saw a card on the bottom of the deck. This person could come off a little bit as a narcissist. The person you're with comes off a little bit into themselves or too into themselves, or this is how you feel in the relationship. I don't know. It's some type of energy. Like they come, but they're not actually a narc, but they like come off like that. Anyways, that was your closing message. <laughs> They're like, they like looking at themselves in the mirror or they just like, I don't know. It's like narcissist energy, but it's not foul. It's not foul intention. It's just, they come off like that, if you know what I mean. Anyways, they're just, I don't know. They're just proud of themselves or into themselves a little bit. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Self-love. You know. <laughs> Everybody says he definitely do. Like, I just got, I just saw a whole bunch of, yeah, he definitely does. Yeah, he definitely do. He... <laughs> I'm screaming. All right. So we got Gemini's, Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgos, Taurus, and Aquarius is coming up, you guys. Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus. All right, you guys. We got all of them coming up after Aries. Okay, you guys. So definitely stick around for the reading. If it resonated for you, please follow me here at Oracle Gang Betty for accurate readings every day of the week. Okay, you guys. Monday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. So make sure you're hitting that follow button so you can get that notification every time I'm live streaming. As I'm clearing the energy here, I'm also going to ring the singing bowl. So for those of you wearing headphones, I'm sorry if it's really, really loud. I'm going to give you a second to turn down the volume because the singing bowl is right underneath my mic. Okay, you guys, so it might be a little bit extra, extra. All right, so we're going to ring it right now. Fair warning. Thank you, Spirit Shay. Tapping into Aries singles and relationships. First singles, please and thank you, Spirit. First singles, please and thank you, Spirit Ashe. You're welcome, Kali. Here we go. Yes, that Aries full moon was a sight to see. Pay attention to the red flags for singles. This is singles Aries first. Uh, chemistry. There's there's a lot of strong magnetic connection here. Release your ex in the reverse. Something you already did. On the other side, soulmate. Yep. Whoa. Okay, Aries. The spirit just ready for filth, and they gave me all the tea. <laughs> you thought the tea was hot for the other zodiac signs. This tea is scorching fresh off the kettle. That's what it's giving. But. Um, we're going to break it down right now, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Somebody within your energy who is you're deciding on, but I feel like a lot of my Aries, you already made this decision. Somebody here, pay attention to the red flags. The signs were cautioning you. You let go of this person. You, ha you did have, like, not for nothing, you did have a lot of chemistry with this person. Y'all either had a lot of makeup, SEX, or you had, like, a lot of toxic, you know, that person you can't get rid of or that can't get rid of you. And y'all just keep going back and forth, back and forth, and it's just, like, this toxic, fun energy. It's not that you guys didn't have, like, love here or some type of chemistry here. It's not that. It's just that there was too many red flags to paint them white. You know what I'm saying? Like... And even at that, you shouldn't be even painting any of the red flags white. They're red for a reason. So there is this energy here of like, it was that toxico, toxica energy. It really was. It really was toxic energy, male or female. But you paid attention to the red flags and you decided to have chemistry elsewhere, even though you had chemistry with that person. You released your ex here 
in the reverse. That means that something you already did. So this is the person that you literally walked away from. They had a lot of red flags. They had a lot of, little bit too much going on. It was a little too messy. Or they just had a lot of addictions, behaviors, or something that was turning you off from them. And you just couldn't even paint those flags white anymore. You were just like, at some point, I just need to walk away. Even though we have chemistry here. Even though it's really hard. I'm just going to trust and have faith that I have something elsewhere. And you do. Because look, the soulmate card is here. Yeah. Pull it by me. <laughs> so cute because you have something coming towards you. If they're not in your energy yet, they're on the way. They're on the way, okay? So pay attention to that. They are really on the way. They're very beautiful. Um, I get this person's very beautiful or handsome. You're going to be super attracted to them. They could be African, Nigerian descent, something like that. It doesn't have to be, but they are very, very beautiful energy coming in for my Aries collective. And for those who are single, we're doing single readings first, and then we'll do the relationship one. But there's this energy, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection here after some disappointment, after dealing with a back and forth, on and off, light and dark, night of the soul type energy, okay? Very, very gorgeous. Um, let's see uh, what cosmic insights that we get, okay? To further clarify this, for my singles, you do have soulmate here. I don't know if you know, but now you know. This person is coming towards you, or this could be the new person. If you already left the ex and you met somebody else, this could be that new person. I don't know. We'll get the letters to clarify, but this could definitely be the new person if they're already in an energy with somebody else and it's healthy. And you're already seeing a difference from the person that you used to date. But you called in your soulmate, boo-boo. Okay, baby girl, baby boy. Your soulmate is here after you release something, okay? And it looks like a lot of you guys did, or you're about to. You're making your way out. Very beautiful energy for my Aries who are single. If this is resonating for you, please be sure to follow this Oracle Gang Baddie. Because after you guys are live, or after you guys watch my live stream, what happens is I get off the live stream, and there's a lot of um, of these accounts that look like me that try and follow you. I will never follow you, and I will never send you a DM asking you for a reading. Let me repeat that. I will never follow you and I will never ask you for a reading. The only reason why I do that is so that way you can tell the difference between who's real and who's not. I'm the real OGB here. I'm the only OGB. Period. You can't compete where you don't compare. Period. Okay. So that's the energy here. Okay, you guys. Look at the red flags are cautioning you. This is why that was here. Intuition. Follow your intuition. The red flags you ignore now will, will come back to bite you later. That's an additional message from Spirit for those of you who are still dealing with this person. This is your message. Uh, Spirit spoke. We don't ignore those messages, especially if they come out twice. But I know, Aries, it's hard to, it's hard to leave something that you are uh, chemistry-wise connected to. It's toxic, but like, it's like, what's your toxic trait? It's that you stay in these relationships that are toxic. <laughs> like that's the message for my Aries like at this point <laughs> anyways so for those of you who are still dealing with this you do have soulmate elsewhere if you want it everybody has free will you can make decisions regardless of what these spreads say okay beautiful energy here let's get a closing message for my Aries okay um if you don't leave this health issues can arise okay it could it could make you mentally um unstable uh, it could coax you or trick, trickster you into thinking that you're less than or into thinking that you are not good enough for love or making you insecure. There is this energy coming out for me with the health card here. Interesting. Or this is something that you experienced. If you already walked away from this, this is something you experienced. So you're gaining back your confidence. You're gaining back your uh, self-worth and things like that. Mercury retrograde in reverse. Yeah, this person you walked away from or this person you notice a lot of the red flags during Mercury in retrograde. You are no longer dealing with Mercury in retrograde. It's in the reverse because Mercury retrograde is over. Okay, so there's nothing else left to do but to wait for your soulmate. Yes, luck is on your side. Look, see, as soon as I said wait for your soulmate, I flipped the card over and it says, yes, luck is on your side. Beautiful energy here. Let's get the letters to further clarify. This is a, this is either going to be the first, middle, or last name initial of your ex, the person you walked away from, anybody who you consider ex, or someone you don't deal with anymore that was toxico or toxica, okay, male or female. All right, um, there is that energy here. Or this is going to be the letter for the new person. So take it out, resonates. And then we'll get into Aries relationships. 
All right, first middle or last name initial, the old person or the new person in your energy right now or coming towards you could have an N, first middle or last name initial. We also get a K, first middle or last name initial. This is the first middle or last name, the first letter of the initial, okay? An I, first middle or last initial. I also get Kiki or Nikki. Um, we have the question mark. For some of you, you're still questioning whether or not you're on the right path towards your soulmate or whether or not you are... Um, you should walk away from the relationship. This is your confirmation. You should, and you should walk into a new direction if you want to. Everybody has free will. You don't have to listen to me. I'm just the messenger. Um, okay. But, um, there is this energy of this person, uh, could be, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if the ex tries to, sub tries to, uh, question you or surprisingly, uh, it, it confuses you because this person tries to communicate with you with a hashtag and my question mark. Someone's going to try and communicate with you through social media or through a device like a cell phone or an iPad or something. Um, this could be any form of communication, but it's going to make you confused about your decision or they're going to try and confuse you into going back with them if they're an ex or something you walked away from. If they haven't already, this is something that they're planning to do. We have a W, first middle or last name initial. I also get Wink. Someone could go by the nickname Wink or have it in their first, middle, or last name or first, middle, or last name initial. I also get that someone is winking at you. This could be the soulmate. This could be the clarification that when the soulmate comes by, they'll wink at you or they'll like to wink at you. That's cute. Kind of creepy, but cute. We also have another K, first, middle, or last name initial. And we also have a Z, first, middle, or last name initial. Okay, so the old person or the new person or both could have a W, I, N, K, or Z in their first, middle, or last name initial of the first letter of the first, middle, or last name, okay? There is that information here. Interesting. I also had the name Nikki and Kiki come up. Or someone goes by the nickname K. All right, anyways. Let's go to the Aries in relationships, some type of relationship, the person you're thinking about, who you're dealing with at this time, whether you're in a relationship or not. That's what we talk about when we talk about tapping into relationships. All right, so we do have that here. Nah, I need to pay you for a personal reading. <laughs> Athena, I just looked at your message. Of course, when I look up, it's always the best comments. Um, <laughs> Rachel says, yeah, right? All right, here we go. So we're gonna get into Aries. Um, Relationship readings, the way you can book a personal reading is at oraclegangbaddy.com, oraclegangbaddy.com, okay? The official, I made it easy for you guys to access, so you don't have to type all that in. You just go to my profile and you click in my bio and it should be there, the information. So that way you can um, access the actual link that takes you there for the personal readings. All right, that's available to anybody who's interested. Like I said, I'll never slide in your DMs or your PMs. For a personal reading, I'll never ask you for one, and I'll never follow you. And the reason why I do that is because there's a lot of people trying to be the greatest of all time, and you just can't because there's only one OGB. So a lot of people are out here trying to bamboozle y'all, and I apologize on their behalf. Um, I can't control that, unfortunately. I try to have TikTok delete them, and now there's 50 more pages. So just be careful, you guys. There's 50 more accounts out there. All right. So let's get to the Aries uh, relationships. Here we go. Honey said, yes, I got two fake accounts. See? The spams are horrible. Yeah, especially in the cosmic community. That happens a lot for tarot readers or oracle card readers. I don't know why we get all that smoke, but I, I have my own conspiracy behind it. I just think that people don't want us to actually send the messages that are meant to be sent. And when I say people, I mean they, whoever they are. You know what I mean. I ain't going to talk too much about it because we'll get shadow banned on here. But you know what I'm talking about. Speak on it. All right, here we go. Aries in relationships. Aries in relationships. Aries in relationships. Here we go. Aries in relationships. Aries, I already don't like this, but we're going to read the cards. I'm, I'm kind of feeling away about your reading right now. You could be feeling away about your current relationship right now with your person. Reconciliation in the reverse. Why? Worth waiting for. Why? Okay, we're going to have to take a moment to clarify Aries because it's really confusing. 
it's really putting me here for a loop, like a roller coaster ride. I'm getting like a visual of like spirit showing me somebody on a roller coaster ride. I don't know if you've been to Six Flags or Bush Gardens or something. Something of that nature, maybe Disney or something. You went on a roller coaster recently, or this is how you feel your relationship. Something is going loop de loo in a cycle. Or you're repeating yourself in this relationship, whether you're repeating words, repeating things you do, uh, repeating the same patterns or behaviors if it's something that's unhealthy here to some extent. I'm not getting that it's toxic, but I'm getting that there is like rocky moments and it's just getting on somebody's last damn nerve. <laughs> like there's some type of irritation here. Um so there is this energy of like spirit is showing me literally like I don't even it could be a Ferris wheel but I literally just saw like a roller coaster so I do want to say that I'm set on the roller coaster because spirit gave me like somebody literally on a roller coaster and they went under a loop de loo so this is throwing you for a backflip in the relationship or the connection if this is not your message for a lot of my areas it's, it seems more specific to a certain collective of areas so it might not be for everybody but um like I said take it out resonates it's not going to be for everybody, okay? There is separation here on the board. It says, uh, this time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Somebody is thinking, I don't know if they verbally express this to you. This is either you or your person. I don't know if someone here expressed it to the other person, but they're thinking of separation or there was a conversation of separation or you maybe went through physical separation, okay? The reason for that was that even though there was a strong chemistry here, I do feel like um, someone didn't see someone as a soulmate anymore. Where they probably seen you as a soulmate before. Or the end-all be-all or the hubby-wifey material, however you want to see it. It's like, I don't know if you guys had an argument or you guys just keep going through t tussles and ruffles or like bickers. You, you guys bicker to the point, Aries. It's either you or your person. There's a bickering to the point in this relationship. This is very specific reading. Just by the way, I don't know who this is resonating with, but if it's resonating, it's resonating. For some of you, I'm sorry, it's not your reading, but um, for others of you, this is. And spirit is just giving me the message that needs to come through today. Um, sometimes this happens. Just FYI. Um, yeah separation on the horizon or you guys separated and came back together there was chemistry here but someone still doesn't see somebody as their end-all be-all because we have calling your soulmate in the reverse and we also have financial uh finances and career our financial issues are a, a factor in your love life right now finances and career in the upright when it's in the upright it's not necessarily the best message it's not bad but it's just saying like something about your abundance that could be financial coin or the love you have for each other. Something's lacking here. It's either financial coin or the love you have for each other. Could be both. Could be financial coin. The lack of financial coin affecting the love. But somebody doesn't see somebody here as their soulmate as where as before they used to. And that's what's causing the separation on the horizon. Or that's what's causing this in and out. Thinking of it or actually being separated. I don't know if you guys are thinking of separation or your person is. Or this is actually has happened. But I get reconciliation in the reverse. Yes, yeah, someone is seeing like they don't want to be in this relationship anymore or they just don't want to be around this person that much. So it's not that you guys will break up. For some of you, you won't break up. But there's like this energy of like, it's like someone's thinking about it, but they don't want to because there is chemistry here and they just want to see it through. But it's really, really, really hard right now. So for a lot of you, you guys are actually going to work it out, but it's just going to be really freaking difficult right now for whatever reason. Whatever the, there's a lack of here that's affecting the connection, it's really messing with somebody's head. So messing with somebody's mental space. I don't know if it's you or your other person, but there is that energy here. I get somebody sighing. Like, literally, I just sighed in, like, disappointment. Like, somebody's disappointed. Somebody's like, oh, my God. Like, somebody's over it. Or somebody's like, um, I don't know. Just like, eh. Eh, it's just like giving eh. I don't know. Anyways, I hope this is resonating for somebody. It really seemed like a specific reading, but it could resonate with everybody. I don't know. Anyways, it's like an eh. You know what I mean. Let's get clarifiers. Wow, you get the same energy as the singles. You will be traveling soon. Honeymoon phase. It's literally the same message. This is wild. Because every time I get done with a reading, I do this. I put the cards in the center and then I shuffle. The fact that this is coming back. 
Didn't we just get this for Aries singles or am I crazy? This is crazy. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could have water sign in their chart, moon rising or Venus placement. Or they could be a sun sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't have to. For some of you, you guys are traveling towards a body of water. I don't know if it's outside the country or within the states, but you will be traveling somewhere. It has to do with water or a water sign. Oh! Yeah, y'all are having a rocky thing thing going on, but you guys are still wanting to travel. You guys are still wanting to try and make it work out. You, For some of you, you guys are going to, as I'm staring at these cards... Spirit is giving me a visual of like, you guys are going to be traveling to try and like reconcile. Where you don't see reconciliation, there might be with a, a vacation you guys take. You're going to try and fix this with a vacation. Honeymoon energy here. Somebody wants to renew their vows if you guys are married. You guys have been together for a long time. I'm getting some of these relationships in, in my Aries and relationships. Y'all been together for years. And that's why it's dried up. It's like you got to find a way to to water the, the grass where it grows instead of thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. It's like you got to water it where it's already at. Because for some of you, that is going to be a, a rekindling or it's going to work out in the long run. But it's like you got to work hard at it. And the only reason why I say water the grass where it grows is because you see how this person here in the card, finances and career, this person here is literally, they got their hands in the dirt. They're like literally planting seeds and watering. It's like you got to put more effort and work into this than you normally would, which is why it's giving me somebody who's been together for a long time, for a few years now. Could be one, two, three years, four years. Or more, if you guys are married. Yeah, that's what this is giving me. I don't know. Let me look at the chat. Is anybody resonating? We have 1.3 here. Welcome in. Welcome in to all my beautiful people. Welcome into the live stream. It's your Oracle Gang Baddie. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a newbie here, please give me a follow for accurate readings on a daily for the Zodiac signs, okay? We are always live streaming here, so follow me here on TikTok at Oracle Gang Baddie. This is the only Oracle Gang Baddie on TikTok. I am the real deal, okay? There's a lot of impersonators, so don't fall for it, okay? I'm never going to follow you back. That's how you know it's not me. I'm never going to follow you back, okay? So, you guys... Definitely follow me here if you're new here. We're here Tuesday through Friday for all the Zodiac needs. All right. We're working on Aries relationship. I'm just literally staring at it. For some of you, you're literally staring at this person or you're literally staring at, at your relationship, like literally reminiscing about it. And you're like, hmm, what can I do to make this better? It's like somebody, it's either you, Aries, or your person. Somebody's trying to think of a creative way to make this better, to make this last, to make this... I don't know. Y'all y'all reading just made me exhausted. We're clearing the spread. I can't. Aries, this is how y'all feel, or this is how the person you're dealing with feels about you. Okay, but that's going to be your reading. Y'all reading just made me exhausted. That's probably how you feel. Anyways, Aries relationship, that's going to wrap up your reading. That's going to wrap up your reading. Y'all got me tired. <laughs> Y'all got me, I love y'all so much, I really do, but y'all got me tired. <laughs> this reading was very exhausting to even do. But if you guys didn't resonate with that for my Aries Collective, who didn't resonate with that, we didn't tap into your collective reading, that's okay, don't get discouraged. Just visit me again tomorrow, okay? It's it's uh, Tuesday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. For all the Zodiac readings, we do them again. And they'll be in a different lineup. So the faster you get into the room, as soon as I start the live stream, drop your Zodiac sign, the faster we'll get to your reading. So that's how we do the lineup, okay? So the first, first, come, serve, first come, first serve in the live stream, okay? Anyways, we're moving on. I love you, Aries. We might we might tap into y'all a little bit better tomorrow. That was exhausting. I can't. <laughs> Hopefully you got messages of clarity, love, and advice. If you didn't, come back tomorrow. That was just a lot. You guys, if you don't know, I am clairvoyant and an empath. I feel stuff. I feel energies, but I also see a lot of things um, when it comes to past, present, or future outcomes. 
um, moments and things like that. I am not a medium. I don't tap into the beyond like that. All right, so if you guys are looking for somebody who's gonna tap into that, you have to um, you have to go into the mediumship. Okay, I have specific set of skills. <laughs> that reminds me of that movie. I don't know who said that in a movie. I have a specific set of skills. Was that Step Brothers? I don't know. Anyways, that's the vibes. I don't have anything else going on. I'm just the messenger. All right, here we go. Pisces. Pisces, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Pisces, pull up on me. We're going to do singles first, and then we'll do uh, relationships. For those of you who have any of the rest of the signs left to do here on the spread, um, in your moon rising or Venus placement, definitely stick around for your reading. Or if you want to cross watch for somebody who you know is the rest of the signs here, you're more than welcome to stay. But if this is where we depart, make sure you're following me here at Oracle Gang Daddy on TikTok. All right. I do repost the replays. So if you're looking for the replay of this, I will repost it within the next 24 to 48 hours on the YT. OK, on the YT. So make sure you're subscribed to my YT. It is Oracle Gang Daddy. If you don't know what YT is, somebody comment it below so people know what YT means here. I can't cross cross promote platforms, so I gotta watch my mouth. It's part of the TikTok guidelines. Yes. So that's gonna be the YT, okay? Oracle Gang Betty on the YT. The way it's spelled here is the same way over there. So make sure you're subscribed for the replays that we do for the TikTok live streams. Okay, Pisces, y'all saw me shuffle. I did a good shuffle. So if the same cards come out as the, any of the other signs, it's your message. I promise you that. Because y'all saw me shuffle the mess out of those cards. All right, so we're going to do the love readings. And I'm just going to, while we're at it, shuffle this one because I just know I'm going to have to probably use this for your reading as well. Here we go. Pisces. Love and relationships. We're starting off with singles first. Please and thank you, Spirit. I should. Please want me to clear the air so you speak and fill the messages deemed worthy to come in for their highest good. Thank you. Here we go. Pisces, singles, Pisces, singles. Thank you, Tara Lynn. Tara Lynn is like the best moderator. Can everybody thank Miss Tara Lynn in the chat for keeping us on point in the live stream? Because she's keeping me on point, but she's also getting back to y'all. We have children. Children here. Children. Pisces. Something about children. You could be a parent. Mother, father energy here. Whether you're a baby mama, baby father, whether you're married to the person you have kids with, there's children here on the board. Like your love life is being affected by children. Someone could be pregnant. You could have recently got someone pregnant or someone you are dating is pregnant. This is for Pisces singles, but it's coming off to me that you're already in the dating scene or you're in the dating pool or you have multiple options. So there's something about children here. I don't know if you're a single parent or what, or you co-parent with somebody, but you're single or you're dating. Something about dating here. For a lot of you Pisces, you have this single youthful energy, even though you are the oldest sign in the zodiac chart. Aries is the youngest, but you guys are the oldest sign in the zodiac chart. So you're a little bit more wiser, more mature. You come off that way, even if you're not. And But but the thing is, you have this inner child spirit going on. So I feel like for some of my Pisces, even though on the outside you seem more mature, it's like you feed your inner child the things that it needs. Like for some of you, you like going to Halloween things like pumpkin patches or like some type of or you're planning to do that i don't know if it's by yourself or with somebody you're planning to take a date uh to a pumpkin patch or some type of like haunted hayride or something about like a straw maze or something i see somebody like eating like caramel apples specifically or maybe you you like that i see uh caramel coated uh popcorn too somebody likes getting their fingers sticky from caramel coated popcorn or peanuts or like the nuts that are caramel coated or sugar coated i'm getting that somebody uh likes that somebody went to the renaissance fair or some type of renaissance theme thing or like a murder mystery thing or is planning to that's further confirmation that was random all right it's safe for you to love however there is separation here which is why you're single, give your relationship a chance. Okay, Pisces, you got a lot going on here. And let me just break it down for a second because I'm, I'm like, what do you want, Pisces? 
do you want a relationship or you do not want a relationship? Because spirit is telling me that you want one, but you don't want one. But then you want one, but then you don't want one. It's like hot and cold with you. Because we get immaturity or some youthful type energy here with the child card. Let me just show it to you. Then it's safe for you to love. So it's safe for you to love. It's like, oh, I feel safe to love. But then there's separation. So it's like, for some of you, you could have had like this new relationship that you walked into very quickly, but then exited out of. And then you're being guided to give your relationship a chance. Why? Because you want to enjoy the holidays. It's like you can't enjoy the holidays if you don't have somebody to share it with. Or that this is how this person feels towards you, the one you got separated from. Or the one you walked away from or walked away from you. But there's some type of reason why you're single here. It has to do with immaturity or some childlike, youthful type energy. Where you felt safe to love ended up being in separation with someone. And then you ended up wanting to give the relationship a chance or the other person wanted to. Only because they want to be cuffed during the holidays? What? Y'all, this is already on some BS. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused, but we're going to clarify, okay, you guys? So if you're not resonating with this, stick around. It might resonate. If you are already, we're just going to get the clarifiers to resonate even deeper. What is this energy for my single Pisces? We're on single Pisces. Single Pisces. Can y'all hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Sorry, y'all. I should have... I sh Dang. I do that almost... At least twice a month, I'll do that. I always forget to put my phone on the charger. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I did it again. I do this almost like twice a month. It never happens, but it happened today. I forgot to put my phone on the charger. I thought my phone was on the charger, but I forgot I have to plug it in from where the charger port is to my mic. But yeah, we're back. It's fine. It wasn't a sign from the spirits and nothing crazy. It was just, you know, forgot to, this human, human error. Forgot to put my phone on the charger. Anyways, we always forget that. Probably Pisces. Pisces probably pr forgot to put their life on the charger. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, no, no, no. That's not part of the message, you guys. <laughs> oh, we still got 1.1K. We have 1.4, but that's okay. They'll come back. They'll see it live streaming again. Anyways, here we go. We picked up where we left off. Needed the charger back. Let everybody else know who comes in if they ask what happened. Phone died. Need to put on the charger. No biggie. We're back and we're better. I still didn't get the clarification. So we're working on a clarify this energy. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have to clarify the singles? Singles. What do we have to clarify for the singles? Redo, please. Redo what? You guys can check out the replay on the YT. I'm going to post the replay on the YT. So make sure you're subscribed over there. It'll be up within the next 24, 48 hours. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have this in your chart, Pisces, in your moon rising or Venus placement. Or this is a person you're dealing with. This is for the clarification. You got fire sign energy here with the person who you are single. So singles. <laughs> this is like, do you want to be in a relationship or not? I remember when I said that. It was like... It's almost like with this fire energy here, it's almost like um, Pisces, you're a water sign and you put out the fire. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like this on and off. Like, do you want a relationship? Do you not? Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Um, for some of you, you are going to give this relationship that you separated from a ch another chance, a second chance, or this person wants to give you that. Um, they could be coming back around to give you a love offer of let's move in together and let's try and make this work. Or you're moving away from this person. You're moving out. You're moving out. You're moving out. Experiencing a breakup on the top of the deck. Divorce energy here. That's that separation card. 
same energy coming in with a different oracle deck very interesting energies for my pisces for pisces singles we're pisces singles right here so it's either that you're moving away from this or you already have and you're achieving a relationship somewhere else or this person you're deciding to give another chance. There's a second chance here for my Pisces. I get a lot of Aries energy here. Like fire sign energy. So, let's see. Let's get the dice. Oh, okay. Who wants to be fancy? We're getting Virgo energy. Virgo energy. We're getting Scorp uh not Scorpio, Sagittarius energy, fire sign and water sign just came out. Like I said, this is giving me fire sign, water sign energy. Interesting. Oh, did I even show you the dice? It was on Sag. Sagittarius. Fire sign, that's where I got the fire sign from. Fire sign, water sign energy. Yeah, there's something about this. So just to recap here for a hot second. There's some type of immature energy or some type of childlike energy here where you felt like where it was safe for you to love with a person that was in and around your energy. You could have been dating this person and you walked away from them or they walked away from you. Um, not wanting a connection or not being solid on a connection. Not not sure if they wanted one or not. This is why you're single. So whether that was your energy or this person, take it out, resonates. But there is this energy of give your relationship a chance. And on the other side, it says enjoy the holiday time together. So this person may want to try and give the relationship a chance just because they want to be cuffed around the holiday season or they want to share the holidays with someone. That could be immature energy. Maybe you Pisces, you can't feel you don't want to feel alone during the holidays or you don't want to feel like um, sad, sad girl, sad boy energy. So... You're thinking of reversing back into the direction with this person, or if that's not you, this is this person coming towards you. Um, they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you have that in your chart, moon rising, or Venus placement. Okay? But someone is moving on, and someone is moving in. So for some of you, you're moving in with this person, you're deciding to give it a second chance, but a solid second chance. And for others of you, you're moving out or moving forward in any direction. Singles. All right, so that's going to wrap up the Pisces singles. Let's just get the letters for the further clarification so we can clarify who we're talking about here. And then we'll move on to Pisces relationships. Here we go. So singles, this could be the person you walked away from or the person that you're kind of like hot and cold with or you're hot and cold in this energy of being single. W, first middle or last name, initial. We have a D, first middle or last name, initial. I'm also getting WD-40, so somebody that likes to, like, fix something or you're about to fix the squeaky door in your relationship. There is that energy because I got moving on and I had the door and then I get WD-40. That's something that you use for squeaks and things like that. If somebody's squeaking or fixing a door in a relationship or they literally just did this, so that's going to be your confirmation uh of the revolving door the in and out i get like a lot of you pisces were dating a lot of different people and this could have been just the energy of the people that you were dating for some of you these people are gonna these people that you dated are gonna want to come back around and cuff you during holiday season so look out for that we also have the the e first middle or last name initial we also have an o first middle or last name initial this is the person you have the person x or the person that you were dating um, this is a C, first middle or last name initial. Another C, first middle or last name initial, or they can have a double C in their first name, middle name, or last name. And there's an eight. So this person you could have been on and off with or you met within the last eight weeks or eight months. You wanted to spend eight years or more with them, but it just didn't happen that way. You could also be seeing 888 a lot very interesting that'll be your further confirmation but for some of you um you like like i said like for some of you you saw this person as like a good option in love and then you separated for some reason so for every one of you it's going to be different on why you separated but there is this energy of like y'all separated from somebody on purpose 
So yeah, that's gonna be that energy. I'm gonna clear out the spread here. I'm gonna get a napkin because I literally touched my face and I forgot I was wearing makeup. So give me a second because I gotta wipe my hands. This is gonna get my cars dirty. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, so that was Pisces Singles can't believe i touched my face i literally have makeup on my face and i literally rubbed my whole face like <sighs> acting up i'm acting up on the live stream today there's a lot going on i need to reset i need to re-up all right you guys if you want a personal reading like i said i don't solicit you for readings i'll never send you a dm i'll never even follow you on here on the tiktok but the way to get a personal reading is at oracle gang baddie dot com oracle gang baddie dot com if you want to see the replays to this TikTok, definitely subscribe to the YT. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, so Pisces and relationships. Pisces and relationships, okay, you guys? Pisces and relationships, and then we're moving on to Gemini's. We're doing singles and relationships today, y'all. Why do we have this in the reverse? Um, we have trust in the reverse. We have give your relationship a chance in the reverse. Obviously, those messages, since they're in reverse, it's the opposite of what they actually mean in the upright. Why? Keep an open mind. Separation. Let's get the clarifiers. Because this is already throwing me for a, a, another loop. Hold on one second, y'all. Let me clarify I will let you know exactly what's going on. I already shuffled these. Why is Spirit giving me this again? Oh, I see what's happening. I'm literally staring at the cards and I just literally read it as a book. I see. Okay. 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 Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished, but we have just begun. All right, here we go. We have trust in the reverse. For some Pisces in the relationship, you feel like there is a lack of trust and giving giving um effort in the relationship here. Either you or your person recently. It caused you to have an open mind or it's giving you this optimistic outlook on your love life. Even through uh, distance, wh whether that's distance, physical distance or distance within your mental um, space. Like for a lot of, this is why the keep an open mind is here because for some of you, Pisces in a relationship, you could feel like distance emotionally with your person. Like it's like they're not opening up or you're not opening up or like there's some type of blockage there. So Spirit is saying keep an open mind or that you're being guided to keep an open mind or this is something that you are doing because you feel like you can't trust or give, it, give this relationship any more effort or chance. This is either you or your person. Um, there's some type of guardian angel energy watching over this connection or that you feel like it's spiritually guided for you to keep an open mind in this connection and allow um more of like an emotional emotional connection to happen because we have health in the reverse and usually when it's in the upright it means health issues can arise but since it's in the reverse it's telling me that you are hopeful on the connection that there will be a breakthrough like somebody has brick walls i don't know if this is your energy or your person but there is this energy of like i don't want to deal with this right now but it's like you're waiting around or you're allowing this person to go through whatever it is they need to go through internally in order to open up there is this wanting to give the relationship a chance here, but someone doesn't want to because someone doesn't trust it for whatever reason, but you're keeping an open mind or this person's keeping an open mind for the potential outcome, which is something that could be healthy, okay? Because we have the health, we have the bad health card in reverse. That means there's something healthy about um, how you guys are connected on a spiritual level, but someone's emotionally distant. So your emotional distance could or this person's emotional distance could do a 180. This person could actually come around in their emotional state of mind or stability in their mind and actually have a better outcome or trust you in the relationship. Whether you guys have had rocky uh, relationship, you got someone messed up in the past or recently and 
it doesn't matter what happened. The fact of the matter is someone is trying to keep an open mind through this separation or through this distance, whether it's physical or emotional distance, that things will turn back around. It looks like it's being spiritually guided to turn back around, but it has to happen in a course of time, okay? This is either you or the person you're dealing with. Um, someone in the middle, someone's trying to sabotage this is on the bottom of the deck, and we also have intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you, okay? So I am getting that someone this could be a whole different group of pisces so i'm going to read it like it's a different group but whoever has gone through this in the different in the other group or the other side of the fence here there was someone else involved which created a lack of trust or a lack of confidence in the longevity of the relationship or how someone felt about you or you felt about them take it how it resonates it's going to be different for all my pisces but that's what i'm getting for the second collective of this situation ship i'm getting okay definitely giving me that energy of like there were red flags here or that there was someone else involved so i don't know if someone was trying to sell to sabotage this purposely or that you are fixated on someone else which is pulling you away from the connection you have it's like you're thinking about someone else or someone else is thinking about you and it's distracting you from what you already have with the person does that make sense anyways someone is trying to fix this in the relationship but like your advice is if this is you or your person who's going through this your advice is to allow it to unfold even though you want to put your hand in the pot you want to meddle in things you want to fix things you want things to go your way there's something about it where it's divinely guided to go in a healthy direction for whatever is best for you and the person whether that's going to be together or not there is this energy where it's kind of out of your control and it's kind of spiritually divinely guided to go in a healthy direction for the best for both parties, you and your person you're dealing with. That's your advice. I'm just the messenger. Please don't rip me to shreds. Don't give me no smoke, okay? I'm just relaying the messages, you guys. But that is the energy here for the Pisces readings for both of my different groups of Pisces. I got two different collective energies here. Um, there's also this energy here of someone else here who's in the middle who... Um, I do want to say this person... How do I say this? You could have felt intuitively like this because we have intuition just to remind you this card is here red flags are cautioning you um there is this energy of like the person that you're with could have had a thing or could have had a, a uh, not a thing but like they could have reconnected with a person or gave somebody some type of attention that really made you feel like you didn't want to give the relationship a chance or you don't trust them. I don't know if you did this, but I'm going to speak as if you did it and this is your person. But roles can be reversed. So I do feel like you're trying to keep an open mind about this, even though there's some type of distance physically or emotionally to your person. But I do feel like somebody got messy here and it had to do with a third party. However, there is hope here because in divine timing, this could have a turnaround, but it's like, do you want it? Some of you will stay to see what happens and some of you will go and it'll just be a whole different spread. You'll come back to me and we'll be doing a whole nother reading. That's the intuitive message I'm getting. For um, my Pisces and relationships, you're being guided whether or not you are on that side of the fence or the other. You're being guided to follow your intuition. Your intuition is your internal GPS. You guys are water signs. You guys are very deeply connected to emotions, but also your intuition. If something ain't right, something's fishy, nine times out of ten it really is. So keep that in mind, okay? We're going to get the clarifiers from the letters, and then we'll move on to Gemini. We have a number nine. You could be a life path number nine or a number six life path. If you know what life path numbers are, if you're into numerology, or this person can be that. Their birthday could be within that week of the ninth, or yours can be a week of between the sixth and the ninth, or the first and the ninth of whatever month they're born in. There's that energy here. All right. I do feel like in nine days, nine, six to nine days. Sorry. Let me say that again. Yeah, no, six to nine days, 
or six to nine weeks, you'll find out what you really want to do with this or if there's going to be anything turning around about this connection. Um, we do have an M here, first middle or last name initial to further clarify. First middle or last name initial, um, an O. Either this is your person or the person meddling in your connection. A W, first middle or last name initial. A, first middle or last, last initial. I get somebody could have a cat or be a cat mom or a cat dad. Because I do see meow here. Um, I also see um, Washington, Wisconsin, Missouri. I also see an E here, first name or last name initial. Someone goes by the the nickname or the abbreviation May, M-A-E, or someone was born in May. Um, someone mows the lawn or always does that or someone wants to cut somebody out mowing the lawn it's like cutting things out I also get that someone has hung up something recently with the 3M the you know those 3M sticky things that you use to hang up uh, it's the brand they use to hang up the picture frames on the wall and it sticks and it helps it like somebody somebody hung up a photo recently or a picture recently or use those 3m hooks i also get um that someone was taping something for someone's birthday recently like you use the 3m tape the clear tape specifically the shiny one not the matte finish not the one that's kind of opaque but the one that's the shiny gloss finish that is that tape specifically spirit said Anyways, those are the uh, those are the things that I get spirit showing me visually. But let's move on. Hopefully that resonated for you. In some form or fashion, you were able to get messages of clarity, advice, or guidance pertaining to your situation in your love messages for Pisces in relationships or uh, singles. Okay, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning into your reading, tuning into your spread. We are moving on to Gemini's. You know, where are my Gemini's at? Is Tara Lynn still here? Is my moderator still here? I didn't see her post, but maybe I'm just not getting it. Oh, okay, okay. She is here. Okay, okay. Yay. All right. I was I was so scared Tara Lynn wasn't able to stick around for the reading because I know it's getting late, you guys. It's about to be 10 o'clock right now in one more minute. If you guys resonate for the with the reading, thank you, Keith and Tina, for the roses. Ew. We love to see it. I love the gifts, you guys. I love the gifts. Thank you. Keep them coming. I got five out of 50 cranes in the sky. Ew. I got five out of 50 cranes in the sky. I also got some more subscribers. Thank you for those who subscribe to be part of the gang. You already know what it is. Y'all get the little badge next to your name, and you also get the emojis just for this gang. Thank you for my new subscriber, Olivia, for subscribing to the YT. I just saw that pop up on my screen. All right, so I am clearing out the spread for Geminis. Geminis are next on the list here. You cross out Pisces. We're moving on to Geminis. All right, here we go. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages that we need to hear right now for Geminis that are singles? Geminis that are singles. Here we go. The love messages for Geminis who are singles. Geminis who are singles. Here we go. Here we go. Pull up on me. Where are my Geminis at? Leave your zodiac sign in the chat. Say I'm here. Leave the word Gemini there. Something. Let me know you're here ready for the read. All right. Here we go. Gemini singles. Thank you, Spirit. Ashe. Leave the messages for Gemini. Who are single? What are the messages for Gemini? Interesting. Single Gemini's, you're having some interesting conversations with potential suitors or people. I, I get that. I get that you're you, you have dated someone or you're. I get that somebody's on an app. Let me just rewind. I guess somebody's on an app and expressing their love languages, or you're listening to whoever's love languages are. It's like you're learning somebody. For my Gemini's, it's really accurate because y'all like information. 
okay you're staying optimistic about your love life on the bottom of the deck here you're trying to get out into the dating pool or you're dating people who are offering you things like they're like for some of my gemini's male or female it's like figuratively or literally they're they're um they're uh giving you your flowers does that make sense they're giving you your flowers they know how valuable you are or they want to prove to you that they could be a potential long-term suitor same thing here about my gemini super attractive energy but also you're attracting some type of heart to heart conversations or some type of conversations that are going to get to know people on a deep level i just heard uh gemini's are quick to cut out anybody who's not who's not given the same energy <laughs> what spirit i'm screaming somebody <laughs> spirit is telling me and showing me somebody like somebody is either saying this to their friend or expressing this to the person they're on a date with but it's like if it's not the same energy i'm you know what i mean like that kind of energy male or female however it is that you talk it's just coming out that way but it's like meet me at my energy or don't like come correct or don't come at all and so these people are all like, oh, shoot, they're all coming correct, male or female. They're ready to, to give you your flowers. <laughs> I'm screaming. What? People are like pulling up. Correct. They said, oh, Gemini, that's how that's how they know their worth. OK, I got to I got to. They're like ready to give you everything. They're like, oh, well, I got a car and I got a house and I got money and I got a this and I got a that. And I I got love and and my love language is this. What's yours? I'll treat you right. Like male or female cater to you energy male or female <laughs> it's kind of coming off funny that's how spirit gave it to me it's like really animated chemistry strong magnetic connection here with a new person in your energy or possibly someone coming towards you gemini these are single gemini's <gasps> no way a marie stop playing with me oh a marie thank you so I love that gift. That's the first time I ever got that gift. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast with the rose that was like wilting. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. Wait. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. I've never seen like that kind of gift before. Thank you, Tina, for the roses. Following the rose in the cage. Ew. All right. Anyways. Woo. Thank you guys for the, for the gifts. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for pulling up. Also, if you're new here, please follow me here at Oracle Gang Betty for all your Zodiac readings. I just want to plug that in that I'm not going to be following you after this reading, after this live stream. I don't follow any of my followers. The reason why I do that is because you'll know which ones are fake and which ones are not. So if I'm following you, air quotes, it's like a profile picture that looks like me, but it's not actually me. It's not actually me because I will never follow you. I only have 17 people I follow and it will always stay at 17. If it's any more, or any less than that. It ain't me. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. Okay. So definitely don't follow that person or fall for any of their scams. Please block them. Please report them. Thank you. All right. So yeah, you're going to have um, open conversation with uh, people who you're going to stay optimistic about your love life with. <laughs> and you have a lot of chemistry or potential chemistry with these people. There's a lot that like people almost fall in love with you instantly for a lot of my Gemini's male or female. They're going to be like googly eyed or Google eyed over you. Because they're going to be like, yeah, I'm trying to be your best person. Like, they're just trying to compress. Like, I just don't know how else to say it. But it's beautiful, funny energy. The way it's coming off, it's coming like, you never seen nothing like this before because now you know your worth. Or now you, you are grateful of your worth or you are accepting of your worth. Maybe you always knew your worth, but you didn't know how to, like, put yourself out there. Like, for real, for real. And now you're like, you're not taking... You're not taking anything less and you don't apologize for it. It's unapologetic for my Gemini's. For some of you in the Gemini collective, that's what I'm getting for singles. We're on single Gemini's. That is the beautiful energy here. Ew. We're getting into relationships after singles. We do the singles read first and then we do the the, the uh, relationships. Thank you, Gibbs, for sending my first gift. All right. So that's the energy I'm getting. Let's see. Oh, what is on here? Oh, it's a moth. I got scared. Or not a moth, a gnat girl boy these nets <laughs> scare the shit out of me excuse my french i thought it was i thought i was having an ant problem but i'm not but i got scared oh you know what's gonna scare you it's so funny that i'm using that into the reading but 
for a lot of my singles, you're going to be scared of this. You're not, you're not, you're going to be like, because you're going to, in this process of dating, when this person comes towards you, if they're not already here, you're going to be scared of whoever it is that like pulls up on you. Correct. Because you're going to be like, whoa, so this is the real deal, huh? This is what this feels like. You're going to be shook it. You're going to be kind of scared. You're going to be like kind of a little nervous to be vulnerable. Because this person's going to be illegally soft and chewy and ready to give you everything that you deserve. But you guys are going to be thinking of, we need to get the F out of here. Like, you're going to be road runner on the track. <laughs> Don't do it. This is coming in because you matter. Can y'all see me? They said, why? Not in the middle of the reading. I feel y'all. We're back. All right, y'all. Now it's my spectrum acting up. First, my phone died. Then my spectrum's acting up. Child, if we don't get through these readings tonight, I'm over today. I don't know about y'all, but I'm over tonight. We're going to stop at Gemini. Forget Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. I'm sorry. We're just going to leave. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that to y'all. But it is getting annoying. Anybody else having problems with Spectrum? The first time, though, it really was my fault because I didn't um, plug my phone in to the power cord. But this time it was Spectrum. So I don't know why it goes in and out of that. But anybody else experiencing Spectrum problems? I hate Spectrum now. Like, they used to be on point. Like, sidebar away from this Gemini reading. Spectrum used to be on point. Now they're trash. Can somebody guide me to the right Wi-Fi? Because I'm about to take y'all advice right now. So, pull up in the chat. Let me know which Wi-Fi I should get. Let me know. I'm only here for Saj. I could leave. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Verizon. Somebody said AT&T. Yeah, Spectrum has been having so many issues. I'm like, are there UFOs in the sky? Or is just Spectrum just bad? Because I'm just trying to figure it out. Because I know the government reported aliens, but I'm just saying. Are they messing with our Wi-Fi or what? I'm annoyed. Anyways, somebody said both. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> somebody really answered my question. Anyways, sorry for the technical difficulties, you guys. If it ain't TikTok, it's the Wi-Fi. If it ain't the Wi-Fi, it's because I didn't plug my phone in. And if it ain't none of that, it's just because spirit want me to go to bed. They said go to sleep, child. Anyways, here we go. Gemini's, Gemini's. She said, girl, come on. I know, I know, I know. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. We got everybody back in the room, 1K up in here. Welcome in, welcome in. Please give me a follow here at TikTok at Oracle Game Baddie. Let's get started. Singles, Gemini. Gemini singles here. Heart to heart conversations, okay? I forgot what I was saying when I left off, but anyways, hopefully you guys remember. Um, I just shuffled the deck. Bottom of the deck says, yes, your luck is on your side here. So luck is on your side when it comes to this new person coming towards you. Okay, you guys, here we go. Ladybug, you could have been seeing ladybugs lately or you will be seeing ladybugs when you see when you meet this person. For some of you, you're not going to want, you're going to want to run away or walk away from this person for whatever reason. You thought you was ready for something that you've been asking or manifesting and then it turns out that you're not actually ready. So stay ready so you don't have to get ready, Geminis. That's what Spirit said, not me. Date night. Ooh, top of the deck, date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Ew. Let's see it. <laughs> Not us saying how unlucky we are and we get the lucky card. <laughs> That's because y'all be trying spirit. And spirit said, no, sir, ma'am. We have these messages for you on deck. Literally in the Oracle deck. All right. So it says, yes, there is chemistry here or chemistry coming towards you. You will be going on a lot of dates. You will be getting wine and dine by multiple suitors who are coming towards you. Correct. And look, on the bottom of the staying optimistic about your love life was attraction. Like I said, Y'all vibrating from an attractive energy and it's because you know your worth or that you always know your worth, but you're just really tapped into it. It's like you wholeheartedly believe it. So wherever you felt doubts in your own confidence, in your own insecurities, there's nothing there anymore. None of that, none of that, none of that. Everything has been disputed. Okay, so reclaiming all of that. Put I know myself, I know my worth in the chat to claim this reading. <laughs> All right, you guys, if this reading resonates, put, I know myself, I know my worth. Here we go. All right, so we're going to get the letters to clarify. Do you want letters or do you want Zodiac? 
Do you want letters or do you want Zodiac to clarify who this person is coming towards you or who could be the potential suitor for you that's next? Okay, let me know. Oh, everybody's commenting. I know myself or my words. You can't have both. That's the problem with my Geminis. <laughs> y'all both got twin energy. And now y'all want both greedy. You're doing too much. That's what, that's, that's spirits, that's spirits thing with you. Y'all be doing too much. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, anyway, so we have fire sign energy. There could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius coming towards you. I know you probably don't want to hear that, but that's going to be the energy or they could just have it in their chart, moon rising or Venus placement. So as I was saying, do you guys want, um, Zodiac or letters? Look, I shoveled the deck and then ended up fire sign because I was going to use this. I was going to use this dice to roll it, but then I ended up shuffling to close out your energy and we got fire sign energy. So they could have fire sign in their chart, moon rising or Venus placement, or they could just be a sun sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So take care, resonate. Let's get some letters. All right, we have an F, first one or last name initial of the person coming towards you or a person that you could possibly be dating or in and around your energy, going on dates with. <coughs> Single Geminis, um, excuse me. E, first one or last name initial. A Z. We also have Fez or Zephaniah or Zephanie. First one or last name initial, we have another Z. We could have two Zs in their name. Weird, but I don't know where it would be. But uh, a C, first one or last name initial. These are further clarification. These letters don't have to, like, officially clarify your your reading like i said for those of you who are new here that's just icing on the cake is to just have letters that match your reading all right and we also have an n here okay n first middle or last name initial c z e f i'm not mad at it someone coming towards you with those letters in their name first middle or last name initial it has to be the initial so that's going to be the first letter of their first, middle, or last name. All right. Or someone you are currently, like, seeing right now. Like, if you're kind of, like, dating, kind of talking to them, talking phase, that's that energy for my single Geminis. Let's get into relationship Geminis. And then we'll close this out and we'll go to Sagittarius. Because I know my Sagittarius is we're waiting. Like, uh, I won't be surprised if Sagittarius is if, like, almost my whole live stream is full of Sagittarius. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, if it drops to 500 after Sagittarius reading's over. Like, I feel like I got a whole Sagittarius gang gang in the building. All right, but we're working on Gemini still. We're going to do their relationships. For Gemini's and relationships, let's get some messages, Spirit, please, and thank you. Ashe. I know the sound uh, kind of sounds a little bit different, but it's only because I had to unplug my mic so that I could charge my phone. There. Here we go. I just got messages through a song. Interesting. It's like, I'm not trying to pressure you. Just can't stop thinking about you. You can hear me. It's that, it's that song. If you guys know what that song is, I don't know. I forget the lyric or the name of it, but that's the lyrics. Um, That could have been a message after the Gemini singles. That could have been for Gemini singles. Anyways, Gemini relationships. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. Gemini relationships. Gemini relationships. Please and thank you, Spirit. Ashe. Gemini relationships. Okay. We'll clarify. We'll clarify because I'm about to pull up on the Gemini relationships. I'm sorry, you guys, for the... Ooh! Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys, let me stop playing. I d I'm speechless. Mm. You got a lot going on here, Gemini, for relationships. A lot going on. I got a lot of messages for my Geminis and relationships. I'm going to get through it as quickly and as 
efficiently and as detailed as possible. Okay, so strap up in all senses of the word. Okay, um, as I'm about to do your reading, I hear an owl. You could have been hearing owls lately or there's like some type of night owl energy or something that has to do with an owl within your relationship. Owls speak of um, spiritual guidance, but they also speak of um, things that only come out at night, only revealed. What? Okay, I don't know. Spirit is giving me a lot of messages. Anyways, um, healing family issues in the, in the upright. It says your love life benefits as you heal and forgive your parents or what something like that. Anyways, I'm trying to hurry up and read the card because I'm getting a lot of downloads. Um, there's some type of healing going on with you or your person. Period. It's internal. It has to do with the past of family things or something tied to their childhood. This is either you or your person. I want to say that this is your person, but this could very well be you. This person can be the one. You can already have met the person that you've seeked, that you wanted for such a long time, that you've manifested. However, you could feel or they could feel that there are red flags here that they need to pay attention to. You're not sure if this person is the one or if you should be continuing to call in a soulmate or this is how your person feels about you. Take it how it resonates. You could be on the other foot. Something is being revealed, though. Something that was in darkness is being heard like that owl outside my window. But also something is being revealed. And I think it's very interesting that there's an owl outside my window and I literally live in California. Like what? Like near the city. So the fact that there's an owl outside, it's kind of like very uh, spiritual of a message. Very interesting energy. Very uh, enlightening energy. Whoa. As I'm looking at the cards right now, I'm staring at the cards right now and I'm really seeing like there's something here that's healing within someone where it could turn this person into the one. However, while they're going through this healing phase, it could feel like there are red flags or there are some things that you don't like that could turn you off from this person. However, you feel like this person is your soulmate, but then you also at the same time, in the same token, you feel like you call your soulmate elsewhere because there's new love here on the bottom of the deck. Let me show you real quick. It's like you want this person and, and this could be how they feel about you, but take it how it resonates. I'm going to read it from Gemini's perspective. So follow me. Follow me here. You could feel like this person is your soulmate. However, there's certain things that's popping up to you or there's certain things about their healing process or there's certain things about their growth or their evolution of self that it sways you into thinking like you might have a soulmate elsewhere and you could call in new love elsewhere if you really wanted to, but you're trying to give this person a chance or you're trying to allow it to unfold and see where it goes. It's like you have two soulmate options here. It's like you have one that hasn't manifested yet and then you have one that's here. You have a person that you could be with if you really wanted to and you want to stick around for it and you want to see where it goes. But then there's like this other person that is in your imagination or hasn't quite manifested yet or is in the future, not even the near future. It's like in the future, like far in the future could be within the next year. But like you, you have love regardless of what direction you go in. You have love. You have someone who loves you, but they're going through a lot internally. And then you have someone who can love you elsewhere. Does this make sense? Gemini's this is very much crazy of a reading for Gemini's who are in relationships if this isn't how you feel this is how your partner feels and it's unsaid and it's something that's going to be revealed that's why I have that owl outside my window right now mm -hmm. nocturnal energy something that is that can't sleep something that can't sleep at night for some of you can't sleep at night or this person can't sleep at night because you're too busy trying to pay attention to the red flags or that you have dreams about this like fantasy of you have a soulmate somewhere else or that it could work out in a new new connection but you want to stay with this person because you feel like it can work out with this person and you're very well right you could feel unstable i think it has to do you with stability other side of the deck says past life relationship you have known each other before so i do feel like the reason why you're with this person could could be that you do feel like this person 
is your soulmate that you've known in a past life, if you believe in past lifetimes or if that's part of your belief system, like there is this energy of like, I've known them before, or if you haven't known them before on a soul level, it's like you literally have known them for a long, long time. You have history with this person. So the person you have history with has a lot to do with uh, healing family issues. They got a lot of work to do internally. Okay, this is something that's apart from you. It's separated from you. It's like they have their own things to address within themselves that has to do with their childhood or their family members of the past or past experiences or in the recent past. Within the last few months, something has unfolded. It's bothering them or there's something here that they're healing. And it's like you're like, this is a red flag. Like there's way too much ish going on right now. And it's a it's causing confusion and it's causing a anyway for some of y'all this person expressed something to you and you were like mm, mm. but it's like you didn't express that out loud but in your mind you were like this is crazy i just found this out about this person and it almost makes you feel unsure about the future with this person so you're thinking like oh should i call my calling my soulmate somewhere else because there's new love somewhere else there is new love somewhere else but do you like you got free will you can choose whatever route you're gonna get love gemini is what it says a uh, past life connection here like i said this person you can have history with or this person uh you guys had like a karmic contract but not in an unhealthy way it's like this person in 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 a past life you or this person told each other that i'm going to see you in the next lifetime I guess I'll see you next lifetime. That song. Who sings that song? I think I'll see you next lifetime. Is that Erica Badu? I think I'll see you next life. If you don't know that song, you better look it up. There's lyrics in that song for you. Spirit said there's a message there in the lyrics. But it's like this person had told you this in a past lifetime and you don't remember it in this lifetime. And that's why you guys are linked up again because you can make it work out with this person in this lifetime or you can go in a new direction. But this could be the one the person you're with could be the one, but you can also have a soulmate, too. So do you want to be with the one or do you want to be with the soulmate? Interesting. You could be with Neo, the one, or you could be with your soulmate. Basically, like, your person on a soul level. Or you could be the one on a tangible level. Like, you could be with the one on in this, in this matrix. You could be the one. You could be the Neo in this matrix. You could be with that person. Or you could be the, with the Neo when they wake up. You know how Neo gets unplugged from the thing? When we talk about the Matrix movie, if you guys know... Um, the part where they unplug him and he's in a whole new like world he's on a ship somewhere and there's like these monsters and stuff like you know octopus arm type of electron electronical monsters or something it's like that's your soulmate but you could be with the one who's here in your reality that's weird the way this is coming through why is i don't know hopefully that made sense anyways this is the gemini reading in relationships i'm so it it's it's like mind blowing the way y'all readings coming out. It's literally it's almost like a headache if you if you're not into that type of thing. But it's like you could be with the neo in your tangible world in the world that you see and feel right now. Or you could be with the neo who's unplugged from the matrix. Does this make sense? Because there's two neos in the movie. There's the one that you see who's fighting and dodging bullets and then there's the one outside of the matrix when he wakes up and he's connect his his head is literally connected to a cord you know what i'm saying does that make sense anyways here we go anyways but like i said you you, you can't go the wrong way it's just one needs healing one doesn't know themselves all the way one needs to address certain things and that could be giving you red flags and then the other person is like your actual person. Honestly, this could be the ooh, spirit just said, hold up, wait a minute. For some of my Gemini's, it's gonna be a separate group. For some of you, this person is actually going through this, um, going through this evolution of self. It's like they're the one right now. It's like when Neo asked the Oracle in the movie. I don't know why I keep going to this Matrix movie. The first one, it's the first Matrix when 
when Neo asked the Oracle, like, am I the chosen one? Or he's trying to figure out if he's the chosen one. It's like your person right now doesn't know if they're the, the one for you. Or they don't know if... It's not that they don't know if they're the one for you. It's just that they have to, like, internally figure something out pertaining to their past. It's like they got a lot of self-healing to do. And then when they figure that out and they go through this evolution, they turn out to be your soulmate. They turn out to be, instead of the one, your actual soulmate, the person almost feels like a new partner. That's why there's new love here. They almost feel like a new partner. And you're realizing that this person who you had a past life connection with is actually your soulmate. That is new love. It's crazy. This is insane. I, I can't. I can't. This is giving me a headache. It's just a lot. There's a lot going on. All right, here we go. Any additional messages to close out the reading? Feminize. Y'all got me twisted. Sexuality. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out. Like I said, someone's trying to figure themselves out. It's not sexually. It's like that this person is trying to figure themselves out. Um, when we're when we're not looking at sexuality, when we're blocking this part, this is the message that spirit is pointing me to. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out, just like I said. Remember how I said that? And then look at this card coming out. This is my sexuality card in a normal other reading, but in this reading in particular, someone is trying to figure out how they can be your soulmate because they know they're the one, but they got to do something first in order to be the Neo that's unplugged from the Matrix. Whoa, this is too much. I can't. Fate, karma, something ending, something beginning, cycle. See? Something ending in this connection, but it's not the person literally. You could be ending this connection because you don't want to wait for this. This could very well be you, Gemini. But but this is telling you that this this person, there's a death to this person's internal healing. There's something ending. They're ending this karmic cycle within themselves, the shadow, this this dark night of the soul, whatever it is they're going through. And they're going to come out from the other side, a new beginning, a new fresh person a brand new person it's gonna feel like new love here it's gonna ignite passion here on the bottom of the deck it's gonna ignite passion but it's like it's gonna take time to unfold it's not gonna be right away i know gemini's y'all can be impatient y'all ready to like just move and pivot just like wind because y'all the air signs but um yeah there is this energy for my gemini's and relationships the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later for some of you gemini's who are separate from that message that i just relayed for some of you, you are going to feel as though the red flags will come to bite you back later if you wait around for this. Because for some of you, you are afraid to give this a chance because you don't quite know. And spirit is saying to follow your intuition. If you feel like you should leave, then leave. If you feel like you should stay, if you feel like you should leave and then you get the feeling, you get a deeper feeling that you should stay and see how it pans out. You're not losing out on anything. Spirit is saying your soulmate's going to come in regardless if you're if you stick around to watch and wait for this to, to unfold or if you end it and you move on there's a soulmate for you i'm getting that there's two soulmate options for you two options in soulmate energy or that there's this one person who is a soulmate but it's just not now at the right time it but it will unfold does that make sense it's neo matrix type energy i've never gotten that reference before i almost sound crazy on the live stream like i'm kind of irritated that spirit got me talking about the matrix that heavily but <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm just relaying the messages. That's, that's, anyways, that's what I got. I know I sound wild, y'all, but hopefully you follow that. That was Gemini's reading for uh, singles and relationships. Okay, you guys? So this is going to be your energy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sagittarius, where are my Sag? <laughs> gang, gang in the building. Where's all my Sag babies at? My Sag. Oracle Gang Baddies and Daddies in the chat. If you guys love these readings, if you want more of these live streams, please give me a follow here at Oracle Gang Baddie on the TikTok. This is the original OGB in the chat, okay? Anybody else who follows you who looks like me and they follow you after this reading, just know that they're the scammer, they're the fake. They're not the real one. I will never follow you after the live streams or anywhere on TikTok. I will never follow you. I only have 17 followers and that's it. I almost want to follow nobody. I almost want to make a zero because you'll know it's me if I have zero. But I, oh, excuse me. I specifically have 17. That's it. If somebody's following that has more or less, that's it. They're fake. They're fake page. I will also never solicit you for a reading. You have to come to me. You have to slide in my DMs for a personal reading. Okay. I'm not going to ever go to you for a personal reading. So I won't be like, oh, I felt your energy. I think you should get a personal read. Blah, 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 blah. No. 
That's not me. That's a scammer. So don't get scammed out there in the TikTok streets, okay? Because they're out and they're coming in heavy. They're coming in hot, okay? There's like 50 profiles that are literally imitating me, but you can't imitate an OG. So they can try, but you can't compete where you don't compare. So they can try. Pull up on me. Y'all want letters too? All right, Gemini, since the, since, since the readings cut out on you, I guess we'll do the, the letters. Gemini's, they just can't be satisfied tonight. I just, Gemini, but I know we had a lot of technical difficulties, so I'm going to treat you all right. But I really wasn't getting guided by spirit to give you these letters, but we're just going to do it anyway because the spectrum was acting up. <laughs> I love y'all. All right. Oh, why do we only get four? I literally closed my eyes and I li literally grabbed four. Spirit is being cheap. Okay. Well, this is it. Why is there only four? Okay, I'm done. Anyways, there's a T, first one or last name initial. For Geminis in relationships or the single Geminis that have somebody coming towards you, that can definitely resonate as well. We also have an E. This is mostly going to be for the Geminis in relationships. An E, first one or last name initial. A J. First one or last name initial. I also get a jet. Starships were meant to fly. <laughs> that starship energy coming through. We have jet or someone in initials literally spells out jet. We also have the number eight here. Did we already get this for Gemini singles? We got a number eight last time. Was it Pisces or Gemini's? It was probably Pisces. But, um... We have a number eight here. This is a uh, forever energy, okay? As I see it, it's like the infinity symbol. So there is something infinite about the relationships that you are calling in or that you're in right now, okay? There's something infinite. When we talk about infinite, we talk about cosmic energy. We talk about spiritual energy. There's something about your love life is being very divinely guided on a spiritual level, journey-wise, okay? That neo energy I was telling y'all about with that relationship, part of the spread, there's something infinite about that. Pay attention. All right, you could be seeing 888 as well, but for the most part, you could just see the infinity symbol a lot, or you have been, or you will be soon. That's going to give you the further clarification that you need to pay attention to this reading. It will be reposted to the YT, so make sure that you are subscribed there so you can watch the replay. I don't delete them. They're just going to stay up forever. And the timestamps will be in the comment section over there. So visit the comments. It'll be pinned in the comments on the YT. So you can just jump straight to your reading. You don't have to watch the whole the whole thing all over again. Okay. So let's move on to Sagittarius. Ew. Where's my Sag gang at? Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys like these readings, if you want more readings, thank you well for the ew, crazy in the sky. My top gifter is in the chat. You see her spoiling me as per usual on the live stream. We love to see it. How many cranes do I have? I have eight. Eight out of 50. So I'm collecting 50. I know that was a stretch, but we always reach for the stars. Okay. So I wanted to collect 50 tonight, but we only have eight. That's okay. Because I really appreciate each and every one of y'all who sent cranes. Because they're a little bit expensive. All right. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Nova Sky, for the earth. Ew. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gifts, you guys. I did see a rose come in or something. What was it? I don't know. Somebody just uh, sent a gift as well. Oh, it was Nova Sky. All with the DJ, the alien DJ. That's cute. We love to see it. I'm giving you guys a good shuffle, uh, Sagittarius, so we don't get double messages here. But also, if the same cards came out, then it really is your reading because I shuffled. Y'all see me. Thank you, Anna, for the oh for the lightning bow. Okay. I'm on fire. I'm electric. Thank you for the roses, you guys. Oh, thank you so much. I'm finally looking at the screen consistently so I can thank y'all for the gifts. So if you want to send gifts, send them crazy right now because I'm actually looking at it. <laughs> thank you for the first gift, Kim. It's your first time sending a gift here at Oracle Gang Betty. If you're new here, please give me a follow on TikTok at Oracle Gang Betty for all your Zodiac readings. We're here Tuesday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. Thank you, Abby, for the perfume. I'm smelling good. I'm smelling good. She sent me some perfume. Which one is it? Let me know. Abby says, I'm on point. She said, Target. <laughs> Fawn sent the paper crane. Thank you. The paper cranes are like up there. Thank you so much. 
Olivia and Nova Sky, thank you so much for the gifts. Oh, that dinosaur was cute. Ew. I haven't seen the dinosaur one. That's different. Okay, come through. All right, so you guys, here we go. Gemini's. Or no, Sagittarius. Sorry, let's clear up the energy. Sagittarius. It's because I was reading a comment that said Gemini. Here we go, here we go. Sagittarius. Nisi said, you did not. That is not funny. Oh, what is not funny? <laughs> I'm screaming. Thank you for the crates in the sky. Ew. Thank you for, oh my gosh, Steph. Thank you for that rose. That's a different rose. Hold up. She sent me a rosa. I didn't even know they had those. <gasps> wow. I got a purple crane in the sky. I didn't know they had purple ones. Wait a minute. Okay. New energy come through. Ew. I love to see it. Oh my god, you're still on Sag. I just started Sag. Sag singles. Sag singles. I'm trying to get the whole spread. Thank you, Tink, for the finger snaps. Well, Belle, thank you for the crates in the sky. Ooh, thank you for, ooh, thank you for, ew, oh. <laughs> I'm getting so many gifts. I can't even thank you for each and every one of them, but thank you for each and every one of them. All the cards fell out. All right, Sagittarius, why y'all being extra? Y'all got a lot going on. Okay. I'm not going to look at the bottom of the deck because I don't think the bottom of the deck has anything to do with y'all. So, I'm sorry for that slam there. That was probably really loud. Um, forgiving and learning here. Sagittarius, y'all have forgave and learned from the past and y'all released a lot of baggage from the past when it came to love or how you want to receive love. Whether you do this in private or not, I feel like this is something you do in private. You don't even call people up about this. This is some healing that you do in hermit mode by yourself, away from everybody, people, places, things. Like you do this by yourself, incognito. Like literally you're like a hermit crab in your shell. You heal from things from the past. Sometimes I'm getting for some of my Sagittarius is sometimes you just randomly think of stuff like Literally while you're at your house cooking or watching TV or taking care of your kid if you have a kid or just something randomly just hitting you about the past or like a memory that reminisces and pops up and you just have an epiphany and you're like, wow, I'm glad I got over that or you cry about it and you release it. So male or female, this is a Sag energy coming through. Like you did a lot of forgiving and learning. Single Sagittarius here. Single Sagittarius are the first reading and then we have the second reading will be a uh, relationship Sag. So stay tuned. It is safe for you to love, open your heart, and give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so for a lot of my Sagittarius that are single, you could feel as though it's not safe for you to love because uh, a lot of this um, energy, let me hold the cards right, a lot of this energy is like making you feel like you need to be cautious now going into love because of all the disappointments or all the people who don't have anything really to offer you feel like, um, offer you anything of substance. But there is this energy here of like, you're learning to open up your heart and you're learning that something is worth waiting for. Like something that you're manifesting, whether it's you're thinking about it or like you're literally praying about it. But there's something that you're manifesting in your subconscious or your conscious energy. It's like you want the love of a lifetime. You want the love that's like, like for some of my Sagittarius's, I'm getting for you. You guys just want a love that's like unconditional. Like you, you see other people's relationships, but other people who have really good relationships that are in love like in actual true love like they have the best example of a relationship and you want exactly that for some of you that's what you're looking at Sagittarius is that's what I'm tapping into for my single Sages. okay so you're like this is worth waiting for I could wait for that I'm gonna wait for that I'm not I'm not gonna really put myself out there a lot I I can put myself out there but I'm not going to right now okay this is how you feel um, for some of you, you could be still, you could still be go going in and out of waves of this energy of like thinking about the past and learning from it or like reminiscing about past disappointments and things. And it's like this constant ebb and flow of healing, which is really good for you, but it's safe for you to love, um, in a new direction that's worth waiting for. Um, so yeah, there is that energy here, but then with that energy comes, when this is in the upright, it's, the, it's my unicorn kind of trapped in a fence that's in a circle, which 
which really means like karmic cycles and trapped in a karmic cycle of thinking or karmic cycle of something going on. But since it's in the reverse, it says free yourself, take control back of your life. You, you guys took back control of your life because you started paying attention to the red flags where you would ignore them. Does that make sense? It's like, you know, something's worth waiting for because you started paying attention to the red flags of the past. You learned, this is what you forgave and learned from. For a lot of my Sagittarius, you learned from this energy of learning from the past. What it is that you learned is this energy of not painting the red flags white, paying attention to the red flags when they hit you, not giving people a second chance, third, fourth, fifth. You know, like really, you're just being serious right now. It's not that you weren't serious before. It's just like you ain't playing no games. No games. Sagittarius didn't come to play. All right, but we also have engagement. Your love life is descending to a higher level of commitment. So there is something that you will be engaging in soon. There is a connection here where it is safe for you to love. This is what's worth waiting for because you realize that where you were ignoring the red flags or if you weren't ignoring them, you just weren't seeing them, right? You, you have rose-colored glasses on, right? You couldn't really see straight or see through the BS. Now, it's like when somebody approaches you, right off rip you can see right through them you kind of you kind of are almost clairvoyant in a way you see their past their present their future outcome it's like you you intuitively know so it's like this motherly instinct kind of coming through you could be a single mother you don't have to be but it's some type of instinct like you know when mothers just know things they, they look at their child like i know you did that and their child will, will negate it or keep lying after lying and trying to cover the lies but whether the mom says that they know or not, the child knows that the mom knows, but no one says anything. Or maybe the mom does say something and the child fesses up. But there is this energy of when you go back into the dating world, this is exactly how you're going to be. Does this make sense? Anyways, it's your intuition. You just know. Um, engagement here. You will be engaging with a lot of different suitors or like maybe you have one option that will be in your energy very soon, if not already. And this is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You'll know that this is this person because they literally like, they want to know things about you. They could hold your hand and literally rub it like this. And you're just like, this is awkward because <laughs> I feel like my Sagittarius don't like that. But um, you guys might find it sweet or endearing in some type of way a little bit. So you might not like it, but at the same time, you might actually like that chivalrous stuff because you're like wow i never really appreciated it before i never really had it before on a genuine level so you might actually let it pan out that's cute bottom of the deck says love yourself first but it was in the reverse when i first saw it so um i do feel like you already have put yourself first. So you, you don't have to love yourself first. You already have done this. Laura, thank you for the paper crane. I just saw that in my peripheral. I looked up and it was pink. Thank you for the pink, purple, and blue ones. Whoever's sing, sending the pink, blue, and purple ones, they're really, really cute. I've never seen the other two colors. I've always seen blue. So thank you so much. You know, There is that energy here, though. So singles, Sagittarius, that's your energy. Let's get the letters to clarify who this person could possibly be. Why do y'all get, why is spirit doing this to me? They keep giving, <laughs> I'm literally grabbing the letters and I'm thinking I'm grabbing a lot because it feels like a lot. And then when I see it, it literally is only four. So these are going to be further clarifications. When this comes around or when this is about to come around, you'll know that it's on the way or it's already here if you see 11-11 a lot. For a lot of you, it's going to be because it's it's literally right around the corner. So you just got to keep having faith. So if you see one 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 a lot or 11-11, um, that's your energy of this reading clarifying itself in the number. I do feel like this person will be the one for you and that just means that they will have the same energetic match as you. So if you have a kid, if you have one kid, they will have one kid. Or if you have, if you want the one, the person, if you wanna manifest somebody who is the one, they want it to do the same thing. There is this energy of like y'all match, y'all energy match. Um, okay, so then I get the K. First middle or last name initial. They could have 1K in the bank account. 1K followers on their social. Or this is just giving that energy of like, they're, they're literally like 
gold or like a high count, a high status or quality person. That's nice. It's good to know. All right, so then we have the O, first middle or last name initial. And we have the L, first middle or last name initial. Interesting. I got somebody likes koala bears or will be gifting you a koala bear or will take you to the zoo. You or your son or daughter or your one kid, your one child, 1K. Um, you, 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 will go, you will go out with this person eventually when you get to that point. Not right away. But um, you could go on a date with this person to see koala bears or something. You see a koala bear at the zoo or something. Or this person likes koala bears. We might send it as an emoji. Interesting. I don't know, Sagittarius. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. That was interesting. Thankfully, it's not as deep as Gemini. Gemini was really putting me through it. I was like, what is going on? All right, here we go. Sagittarius is... That was singles. Let's go on to Sagittarius's relationships. Sagittarius's relationships. Please and thank you, Spare Ashe. Let me take a sip of my coffee while I'm at it, y'all. It's 10.50. She up late tonight. <laughs> Tom Nook said, all the tea, all the shade. <laughs> I'm lost. Well, you have been found because you're right here on the live stream. So put it on me. Follow me here at Oracle Gang Baddie. Please don't follow anybody else. They're going to be the dupes to my actual OG page. So don't follow the don't follow the dupes. The DUPs, don't follow them. All right, here we go. Sagittarius is in relationships. Please and thank you, Spirit Ashe. What were the letters? K, O, L, first middle or last name initial, and we also got the number one. Whoa. Oh, Sagittarius, if you're in a relationship that's really healthy and happy, it is safe for you to love. So where you felt like it wasn't safe for you to love, if you had doubts, it is safe for you to love. That's your answer. If you were looking for an answer, here it goes. But it's also safe for you to love or you know that this is the energy that you're in. You feel very comfortable in this relationship or this person feels comfortable with you. You could have been getting through a lot of like disagreements or some type of like, I don't want to say it's a lot of disagreements, but excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I'm gassy from this coffee. It's making me burp. Um, this is telling me that you guys. Don't need to necessarily get to know each other on a deeper level because it is safe for you to love where you're at. I do feel like someone could could have a blockage of like trying to either you're trying to get to know them a little bit deeper or they are or it's just not now. It's not the right time, but it it's not bad. Give your relationship a chance. Top of the deck. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Thank you for staying up late, you guys, for the readings. I just saw somebody says me. Me too, here in PA, 151. Oh, that's Angela. <laughs> Thank you for being a subscriber, Bill. She's part of the gang. If you guys want to subscribe to the TikTok gang, um, it's on the bottom left of the screen. It says subscribe with a star. Um, okay, Sagittarius in relationship. I'm not mad at it. You're being guided to give your relationship a chance or this is how you or your person feels about the relationship. Yeah, you guys have your differences. Yeah, you guys some of you have arguments some of you it's not that deep when you guys have a little bicker you think about it later and you're like that was stupid and then you guys make up i get there's like this energy of like you guys have heated moments but then you make up or that make up sex is really fire so um there is that energy here it's very very beautiful there's nothing wrong with the relationship. If you if you were thinking there's something wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. You have to give it a chance, though. Who doesn't want to give it a chance? I don't know. Maybe it's both of you. Maybe it's one of you. But there is that energy here. Okay, here we go. What are the additional messages to Sagittarius in the relationship? Please, thank you, Spirit. I have the card flying towards me. Liar. Be careful. Someone is sneaky. Okay. This is a whole new Sagittarius collective. For some of you, you'll resonate with that first spread that I just did. For others of you, this is going to get deeper. Okay. Where you felt like it's safe for you to love, it's 
something that you don't know that's hidden that you haven't gotten to know about this person yet this person or you i want to say this person wants to give the relationship a chance but you've already called them out on being a liar or being sneaky and this person is being sneaky about their sexuality okay they're not being honest about what they like what turns them on what gender they want to go towards or how they want to pull up okay he she they they're confused or they're messing with somebody else who is of a different uh, sexuality. They're exploring their differences. There's somebody here that isn't honest. So there's a few of you who have a great relationship and it can work out. And there's others of you that have something a little bit funny. A little bit funny, honey, going on here. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. You could have already disconnected from them or you're thinking of making your way out. But they will be back. Why are they lying? Hidden Truth Oracle deck coming through. Why are they lying? Why? Why? I'm getting family guy. Why? When he says why, what was that? Stewie? Somebody likes Stewie or likes family guy. They watch family guy. That's going to be your confirmation to this part of the reading where about the liar sexuality differences. This could be something that they're hiding. They're still in the closet about what they actually want. So for some of you, you kind of had an inkling about this. You kind of already knew that, but this is going to be your confirmation. Not for all of you, but that's going to be specific for somebody who needed to hear it. In the Sagittarius collective, take it out, resonates. All right. The reason is, is because it's time for them to heal. I said, why? Spirit said, it's time for them to heal. They want to tell you it's time for them to heal or it's time for them to figure something out that they're not sure of. This is why they are a liar. This is why they have a cobweb of lies. I hope that one day you can forgive me. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Here, bottom of the deck. I literally flipped it around. That's what's on the other side. What's on the top? I don't react when people mention you. Yeah, they don't want to talk about this to other people. They don't even want to show that there is a lack in the relationship. because They want to act like everything's okay. When other people mention you, they don't want to be like, yeah, we're having problems or yeah, it's complicated. They just want to act like everything's okay. Because they are ashamed or they're just not ready to divulge information about what they're lying about or what they're not being fully honest with. There's, some, there's something that they can't be honest with because they're embarrassed. Could be their sexuality preference or it could just be that they have to heal from something. That has to do with uh, something they don't want to share yet. They're not ready yet. They can't be vulnerable. Okay. Many things remind you of them or remind them of you. So that's the challenge. How do they get through this when everything reminds you reminds them of you? Knowing that it's time for them to heal. They just want to be in and around your energy, but they know they can't because they have to address something or or you know that this isn't going to work out if they don't address something soon. For some of you, you guys already know this person already expressed it to you. And you're trying to give the relationship a chance or this person is trying to give, give the relationship a chance, but it's hard. So somebody wants to move on, bottom of the deck, someone is unavailable and a waste of time, it's over. For some of you, Sagittarius, you feel like that. For those of you who are resonating with this part of the spread, who are in relationships that this resonates with. Interesting. All right. That's a lot. I just shuffled the deck. Uh, bottom of the deck says Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or they could have that in their chart, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, or they could have that in their Moon, Rising, or Venus. I'm going to get it that there's... To, to further clarify, just to like further clarify, if you know their chart, it's in their Sun or it's in their Venus. Venus is where you love. So it's in their Sun or is in their Venus, that they are a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's going to further clarify the spread. Okay? I don't think we need letters for this because I feel like you know who this person is, Sagittarius. You know exactly who this person is. Okay? Because you're in a relationship with them. If you didn't know, that would be crazy. <laughs> like, what? You're in a relationship with this person. This is the person. Somebody said, I want letters. Give us letters. Not y'all demanding. Somebody asked nicely, and then maybe I'll do it. It has to be genuine, though. <laughs> Laugh my... Oh, please. <laughs> Somebody said pretty, please. Thank you for using your manners in the chat. But also, you're my Oracle gang, so I'll do it for you because you guys clip on me. 
All right, so welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and for messing around and having fun, but also getting those messages, okay? Um, if you're new here, please follow me here at Oracle Gang Fatty for all your Zodiac needs, okay? And if you are OG coming back, thank you for coming back and thank you for all the gifts. Thank you, Jazz. I'm looking at the screen right now. She gave me a rose. All right, here, let's get the letters. Hopefully, I... I always close my eyes when I do the letters or I look away from it. And so hopefully I grab more than four. Four has been the theme for Gemini and Sagittarius so far. So it's kind of annoying. So hopefully I can grab more. But it literally, it's crazy because when they're in this, it literally feels like, oh, sorry, the camera's shaking. It literally feels like there's more in my hand, but it's crazy. There's only like four. So that's crazy. <gasps> oh, we got five. I was about to snap. Okay, we got five. Okay, first one or last name initial. You could have been seeing 555 as well for those in relationships for Sagittarius. G, first one or last name initial. B, KGB. What's going on with the KGB? The KGB book with the aliens? Stop playing. This person might like aliens. E, or be a conspiracy theorist, right? Air quotes. I don't like using that word, but you could be calling them that or think of that, them that way. We also have a you. Somebody likes eating ube. Or like the ube. Like, what is that? Ice cream? Or like some type of vanilla? Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Somebody um, could drive Uber. Somebody could beg for you back. I ain't too proud to beg. Somebody's not too proud to beg. They're going to beg for you back when you hit the deuces. Um, This is going to be really specific. I just got Harold and Kumar. So somebody likes, um, what is that, Guantanamo Bay movie? Harold and Kumar. That was random. I've never gotten that. That's crazy. That's how I know it resonated with somebody. Weird. All right, here we go. Virgos. What do we have for my Virgos? Thank you, Sagittarius, for pulling up on me. If you want to cross-watch for Virgo, Aquarius, or Taurus, we will get around to it. But if this is where we depart, make sure you're following me here at Oracle Gang Batty for all your Zodiac needs. I also post the replays of all the TikTok live streams on my YT. So, subscribe to the YT. It's Oracle Gang Batty. Just the way it's spelled here is the way it's spelled over there. If you need to be pointed in the right direction or want a quick way to get to the YT, just visit my profile. It will be in my B-I-O. It'll be in the bio, so pull up on me. All right, here we go. Good night. Bye, my lovelies. Thank you so much for being here. All right, here we go. We're starting with Virgo singles, and then we'll do uh, relationships. We're doing that for Aquarius and for Taurus, just FYI. All right, here we go. We're almost done with the reads, you guys. We're almost done with the reads. Um, Virgos, Virgos, singles and relationships. What do we have for singles? Let's tap in. What do we have for singles? Thank you, Spirit. For some of my Virgos, you're looking forward to scary movies, something about screams, scary movies, um, something about Halloween or skulls. I don't know if you like, if you like calaveras, something about skulls or Mexican skulls or something like that. Mexico, like maybe you celebrate the Day of the Dead or something like that. I'm getting that intuitively for my Virgos. So that's just a premeditative thing thing coming in. There might be a message for you just based off of those things that I listed. Not going to be for everybody, but very specific. Here we go. Something about a skull. I'm seeing a skull right away. All right, here we go. Getting to know each other. Uh, singles. This is for Virgo singles. Virgo singles. As you reveal your innermost feelings with each other, innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You could be getting to know somebody or somebody's already in your energy, Virgo, that you're getting to know, but you're not in solid commitment yet. It's like the very beginning stages of it, Virgos, for Virgo singles. What else here? Ooh, very soon, bottom of the deck, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Very soon, you're going to be deciding whether or not you want to proceed with this person, whether it's in a commitment or just to see how things unfold between you two, the chemistry and et cetera, et cetera was on the top of the deck heart to heart conversations it might be hard for you to actually communicate with this person because uh there could be some like blockage of energy somebody's uh wi-fi is going out or somebody's uh connection to their phone service somebody still has minutes 
somebody still um something about phone like it cuts in and out or they get bad reception i don't know if they work somewhere where they have bad reception or this is i don't know anyways this is getting on my nerves maybe you feel like it's getting on your nerves <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting that spirit just told me it's getting on my nerves and i repeated it like it's my energy but it's not it's yours here we go virgos anyways it's hard to get to know each other because communication is blocked somehow or there's a challenge with it. I don't know what that is. Whatever that means for you. It's your message, Virgo, singles. There we go. It could be irritating you. It could be irritating you. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, for some of you, you're trying to be open-minded about uh, getting to know this person, but it's like you feel trapped in some sense just to stick to getting to know them even though you're single and you still want to explore other options you feel trapped in trying to get to know this person so you could be wanting to free yourself or spirit is saying free yourself you could take that as advice or you could take that as that's literally where you're at right now so for some of you it's going to resonate either way um heart to heart conversations on the bottom of the deck again in the reverse yeah so it's hard to communicate with this person in some form or fashion for a reason what else do we have here for singles for virgos single virgos too many cards spirit we're gonna put that back in i get somebody has a lot of thoughts with all those cards coming out it's just showing me that something about your thoughts you need to free yourself from the overthinking of everything you're single you're ready to mingle you're allowed to be i don't know why you feel like you're you have to stay with this one person or you need to talk to this one person you don't have to get to know this one person if this isn't your energy this is how your person feels about you but it's a it's something new that has recant but not rekindled, but it has like came up. It could be a rekindlation. It could be somebody from the past coming back around and it's new. But there is this singlehood energy that you're, you're feeling trapped about it. Trapped about getting to know someone in particular. You're single, you're allowed to mingle. Spirit just told me to tell somebody that in the Virgo Collective. That's for somebody. Here we go. Virgos, singles, Virgo singles engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment yeah if you allow your love life to ascend to a higher level of commitment you'll be able to uh tap into more options new options better options um than feeling trapped in your head for some of you this is going to be a separate message for virgos just give me one second i am getting a separate message here for virgos that i feel like um i feel like this is something you're doing to yourself it's like you want to get to know other people but you're feeling trapped in your head about uh, commitment it's like you're afraid of commitment or you're trapped in your head about uh you're not sure about commitment or to put yourself out there you need to take back control of your life and not allow your brain or your thoughts to take over you there's something about taking it over i don't know um and then at the bottom of the deck let your friends help you in the reverse so for some of you you're going to decide to not allow your friends to influence your love life or influence your romantic journey um, for some of you, you have friends that give you like horrible advice or they just want you to be like single and ready to mingle in like a reckless way. Like just have a one night stand. It's just the one thing. And then next thing you know, like it, it goes south or like something's terrible about it or you regret it the next day or you're doing the walk of shame and you don't feel good about yourself. You're not going to take your friend's advice anymore. Male or female, uh, Virgos, take that how it resonates. You're just like over them. You're like, I love my friends, but they're just not good in this department. Like the love department, they suck. <laughs> I just got that energy. Anyways, here we go. Virgo singles. What do we have for Virgo singles? Virgo singles. We'll do relationships for Virgos in a second, you guys. Thank you for being patient for the Virgos and Aquarius and Taurus. Taurus, we'll do a little something extra special for you. So Taurus, please stick around. Your reading's always extra special. Whoever has the last reading in the night is always extra special. Yeah, like I said... There's something about reconciliation. Yeah, somebody who you're getting to know, like I said, going back to that first spread that I was getting, that first message I was getting, something about, I accidentally said reconciliation, and then this card came out. Yeah, someone who's trying to reconcile with you, pay attention to the red flags. They're, they're going to want to give the relationship a chance, or you're probably going to want to like, oh, well, maybe it's a good idea to give the relationship a chance. But the thing is, that's what you need to free yourself from is the reconciliation of trying to get to know somebody where they feel trapped where you just feel trapped into getting to know them all over again so why is this here let's ask what's what's not being said hold on let me before we ask that let me look at the bottom of the deck healing family issues in the reverse this person has gone through like an epiphany they want to go to tiffany and put a, a ring on your finger energy 
let go of con- let li- literally let go of control issues but in the reverse yes yeah, somebody's trying to say that they are not controlling anymore or they just had an epiphany or they did some type of healing that they want to start a family with you they want to reconcile with you um there could be a red flag here something that sounds too good to be true or there's something that they're not saying here they're trying to get you to want to give the relationship a chance again for some of my virgos not for all that could be a s- totally separate message for a different group of virgos but like who is this person? Why is this here? For those who resonate with this part of it. What do we have for my Virgo? I know I was a distraction from your pain. Yeah, this person feels either you or them were the distraction of your pain when it came to love. So the only reason why someone, whether that's you or them, why someone was in a relationship is because to distract you from something else. Maybe someone else you walked away from and the only reason why you kept them around or that's how they feel about you. The only reason why they kept you around was to get over pain. The way to get over someone is to get underneath someone else is someone's friend's advice. But that friend's advice was terrible. It didn't work. Like what the F? Yeah, that was that energy. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah, sleepless nights here. Somebody's losing sleep. I hid who I really am from you. This is how they feel currently. This is how they feel from the past. Um, this is why they're coming back around. They're saying they're healed individual. You have free will to give this person another chance. But um, only if you want to. You don't have to. That's just what I'm getting from the spread. All right, here we go. And then to close out the reading here. Let's just look at the bottom of the deck again. Um, healing family issues and let go of control issues. Yeah, this person's going to try and come in and around you and say that they're not controlling. But the thing is, they don't want you to get to know anybody else but them. So they are going to kind of be controlling. That's the red flag here. For those of you who are single and this is not an old person coming around, the new person coming around is going to like kind of like in creative ways kind of hint that they don't want you to get to know anybody else that you should just talk to them or you guys should talk exclusively so if you don't feel comfortable just talking exclusively with one person and you want to keep your options open by all means you're single and you're ready to mingle you're allowed to mingle you're city you're single and you're allowed to mingle spirit keeps telling me so don't let someone dictate on oh you have to just talk to them that's a red flag right there that's telling you that they have codependency issues and they're controlling And if they try and control that before the relationship starts, then they're going to try and control that when you have a relationship. Spirit is telling me to be very strict with somebody to say that. Um, That's why it came off like that. Virgos, I'm not yelling at y'all. I'm just a messenger. That's how spirit spirit tried to buck up on y'all and they did it through me. And now I look like the bad guy. So (laughs) I'm not the bad guy, you guys. (laughs) I'm getting like Billie Eilish song. I'm the bad guy. Duh. (laughs) (laughs) you guys i'm tripping all right virgos relationships after we do the letters let's get the letters to clarify because i know virgos are gonna ask they're gonna be like what about the letters we're just gonna do the letters from here on out okay virgos we got five letters here for you you could be saying five 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 uh for virgo singles we have an h first middle or last name initial this is going to be the x energy or this is going to be the person that you're actually going to work it out with so it just depends on if you were resonating with the first part of the spread when we did the singles reading or the second half k first one or last name initial another k they could have a double k in their first middle or last name or just a k first middle or last name in the initials like i said before i flipped this over i knew there was a five before i flipped this over i got five because i saw five uh five uh what's it called scrabble pieces here so i know somebody's seeing five 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 someone's seeing five 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 or in the next five days you're about to like literally make a move and pivot the way you need to in whatever type of thing if thing you're handling right now as a single virgo we also have an r first middle or last name initial so that's going to be my single virgos Let's get some messages for the sing of not for the single for the relationship Virgos. But hopefully that resonated for my single Virgos in some form or fashion. If not the whole reading, at least some messages that gave you some clarity, advice, and guidance moving forward in whatever situation you're in. 
as a single Virgo, okay? But we're moving on to Virgo relationships. If you are new here, please follow me here at Oracle Gang Baddie. I am the OG here on Oracle Gang Baddie, okay? Anybody else who tries to pose as me and uses my same name or my profile picture, they are not me. They are going to try and follow you. I don't follow any of my followers. It's not because I don't love y'all. It's just because I have so many impersonators here on the TikTok that I literally can't even follow you guys if I wanted to because there's so many other fake profiles that are following you. You feel me? So in order for me to to look like to look like the real deal, I can't follow you. I only have 17 people that I follow, okay, you guys? And it always stays at that number, and I will never follow you on the TikTok. That's how you know I'm the real deal, all right? Everybody else who follows you who says Oracle Gang Baddie, that they're Oracle Gang Baddie, they are an impersonator, block and report them, please. You'll help me get them off of TikTok. I have over 50 now, 50 impersonators on my TikTok. I don't know why I have so many. They're just trying to be the baddest, right? There's only one. There's only one OGB in the chat, okay? She the GOAT. All right, you guys, thank you so much for um, sticking around for your readings. We do these on a daily, Tuesday through Friday, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern. All right, for all my Oracle Gang baddies and daddies, make sure that you are following here on the TikTok. All right, this is the OG page. Here we go. Virgos in relationships, please and thank you, Spare Ashe. And then we'll move on to Aquarius and Taurus. Thank you so much for being so patient for your readings. I know you guys were last in the lineup. If you want to be first in the lineup, make sure you're coming in as soon as you get that notification that I'm live streaming and drop your sign immediately. That's how you're going to get in, in the first uh, portion of the list. That's how we dictate the lineup for the night. Worth waiting for. There's something worth waiting for. Okay, so um, Virgos in relationships. This could be a divine connection that you're in. I'm getting that it's pretty spiritual or that you have the same spiritual or religious beliefs with the person that you share a relationship with. Um, you guys pray together, you stay together type energy, okay? There is that energy here. It's worth waiting to see how this pans out. For some of you, you will be getting married to this person, absolutely, if you're not already. Okay, what else do we have here? Divine timing, is that working your love life? Why is this here? What do we have here for my Virgos and relationships? There's a card that fell on the floor. Hold on, let me grab it really quick. Yeah. It's because you guys continue to choose each other over and over again. Beautiful energy for my Virgos in relationships. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And there is some steps that you're guided to take here. Um, allowing this to pan out naturally. All right. This person, for some of you, they literally grab you like this. How this little boy is grabbing this female. Okay. Male or female, if you're on the, on the little boy's end, you're the giver or the receiver. It doesn't matter. I'm seeing that you guys are a perfect pair. It's like you guys also like pairs. Or you're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> That's cute. Aw. I like that. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, it's because you guys always are working on your relationship. For a lot of you guys, you work on your relationship. That's why make the effort is followed by a relationship. It, it's like it goes hand in hand. You guys work on your relationship here all the time, all the time, all the time. You guys are always like choosing each other, right? Like I said, there is this same embrace here. You see how like the kids grow up into adults? It's like y'all have been together for a long time or you're about to have this longevity of this connection. For those of you who are in the successful relationship I'm talking about right now, this is that energy of like, love me long time, okay? Definitely beautiful energy here. It's like you're feeding your inner child, but you're also feeding like your adult life in love and relationships. You guys embrace each other like this figur figuratively or physically or both, okay? There's this beautiful energy here that's literally depicting itself on the spread. It's showing that, like, you'll be growing old together. Like, so where you're young right now in your youthful phase, you'll be, like, 80, 90 years old still being like this, okay? Even though they look younger and this, this guy has muscles, he's clearly not 80. I'm just saying, like, there's some type of growth together. Grow together. Mm-hmm. Pray together, stay together energy. Beautiful energy here. We have trust here. Yeah, like I said, for some of you, you will be getting married to this person. You see this woman in a dress. It almost replicates a wedding dress. This person could be in the military as well or some type of army, National Guard, um, Navy, Marine, some type of militant. Or they're, or they're pretty structured. Like they know what they want. They're very well organized. If they're not in the military, they're just so very well organized person this could be you or this person's energy or both you guys are very much planners and strategists when it comes to life things that you want to do next saving up money buying a new house getting the next car 
making uh, decisions together. Wonderful energy there. There's trust there. Yeah. You guys went from like an immature phase to a trusting phase. You guys went, oh, thank you so much for the, ah, Angela, thank you so much. So beautiful. Love that. Ew. This is Virgo relationships, by the way, you guys. I just saw that in my, in my vision on the side. Beautiful. But yeah, so there's this energy. There's a lot of trust that comes into working on a connection that actually works. I'm going to say that again. There's a lot of trust that goes into a relationship that actually works. This works. This is divinely guided to work. It's divinely guided for you guys to grow old. This could be somebody who you've known from elementary. You guys separated. You guys got older. You found each other on Facebook or something like that. Something something like that for some of my Virgos. Not going to be for all. That was really specific of a message. So that's going to be for someone. But you guys found each other on social media again. Sweetheart. Like high school sweetheart energy into like, you know, having your own experiences individually away from each other. And then coming back together and having this trusting connection. Like you've already lived your life experiences and now there's only love here. It's a strong bond. Divinely guided. Divinely guided. Beautiful energy here. What do we have from the Moonology deck? We're going to get this new deck here for my Virgos. Get some more messages for the relationship. Sorry if this doesn't resonate with you guys. I'm tapped into a specific collect collective of Virgos, but I'm here Tuesday through Friday. Okay, 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m. Pacific Daytime, 9.30 Eastern, so don't get discouraged. I'll definitely be here tomorrow for the Virgo read again, and we'll probably tap into a new connection or energy. We get a look at the bigger picture falling on the floor in the reverse. We get communication is key in the upright. Bottom of the deck, conclusions are within reach. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah, for some of you, um, you've dreamt of having a successful connection or a successful love. It's already here. Um, so continue to have faith in how this pans out because it is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work here. It's kind of out of your control on how this comes, how this comes to pass, but it is going to be positive here. Y'all will literally grow together, like glow together, grow together energy. You guys are going to go through a lot of transformation and, and changes, but don't let that scare you away from the relationship. I'm being told that like, because you're going through these evolutions of self within the relationship together and individually, it makes your bond deepen. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, my God. I just realized that. Have faith in your dreams. This situation is calling you for you to have faith. Yes. It's twice in two different decks. That's crazy. Yes. Love to see it. All right. So you have communication is key. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Air sign energy here. We also have look at the bigger picture is in the reverse. So for some of you, you don't look at the bigger picture of the longevity of this, but this reading is going to help you gain clarity and motivate you to see the longevity of this because um, in communicating, in getting to know each other, in, get, in continuously choosing each other, you're going to be able to look at the bigger picture and the connection and realize that this is for the long, for the long haul. This is love me long time energy. Love me long time all right, so we have uh, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Like I said, you guys are going to go through a lot of changes and transformation, a lot of phases. The eclipse energy is here. So there's a lot of conclusions that will be happening after adversity. You guys will face adversity together, but there's something here. You guys will always have to choose each other. You will always have to communicate. Communication is key in this connection, and that's why your relationship is successful, or that's why it will be if you've been doubting it. Here we go. All right, so that's what I see here on the on the spread. All right, let's put this Moonology deck away. And let's go to the letters. Close out. And we'll move on to Aquarius and Taurus. I don't know why this deck doesn't want to go in, into my card holder. All right, here we go. I didn't get nothing bad for my Virgos, so put it on me next time if you're looking for those relationships that aren't working out because I didn't get anything that was giving me a red flag. Okay. 
What do we have for the letters to clarify for Virgos and relationships? She said Aquarius. Do it right, baby. Kenya. I saw your message. <laughs> no red flags here. Only soulmates. Jasmine said, period. Um, okay. So, yeah. Like I said, I get the eight here. I always look at my eight as the infinity symbol. Yeah, this is love me long time energy, okay? This is good luck energy beautiful energy you could be into the harvest moon energy or the chinese holiday right now which is the harvest moon so um they celebrate that and that could very well resonate with you they could be of asian descent or there's some type of like harvest moon energy you guys celebrate the harvest time the harvest season all right you guys could have met in august or August of whatever month. It could have been eight years ago, or not whatever month, whatever year. It could have been eight years ago, a year ago, two years ago. It's something about whenever you guys met, something happened in August, or you guys met in August. We have the letter E, first middle or last name initial for the person in your in your uh energy, in your relationship. A G, first middle or last name initial. H. We also get the number one. I will clarify that later. We have the S. And we have the C. I get somebody with the last name uh, Schultz or the last name, uh, first one or last name. It could be either Schultz or something with the S-C-H. Something like that. I don't know. Someone went to a high school or university with the initials S-H. Oh, I'm sorry. S-H or C somewhere in the high school initial of the high school they went to or yours what the heck i don't know um we have a number one here yeah this person sees you as their number one you're the apple of their eye this is why y'all continuously choose each other um you guys could have known each other since 18 years old but then you rekindled later on in your adulthood or you could be high school sweethearts you could have been together since 18 um don't, you don't have to be but it's I say this because it's that 18 to 81 energy. Like I said, a lot of y'all are going to be going into your 80s. Like, I know probably some of y'all don't want to live that long, but Spirit is saying here, like, some of y'all about to be going into them older ages, like, beyond ages, and really be experiencing true love still. People are going to be looking at y'all like, what? Y'all are still in love? And you're just going to have stories for days, how love is unconditional, how love does, how people deserve to have love and be loved and finding your soulmates important. And you're just going to be those people. You know how you see those people that are still holding hands at 81? They're going to be them. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So 18 could be significant to you in some form or fashion. All right. So that is Virgos in relationships. Okay. Your, your uh, letter clarifiers. All right, put it on me. So we got Aquarius, Cam, Virgos. If that resonated for you in any form or fashion, please give this um, TikTok at Oracle Gang Daddy a follow. Okay, I'm doing these Tuesday through Friday, 6:30 p.m. Pacific Day Time, 9:30 Eastern, and we're here for all your zodiac needs. So pull up on me, cause I love y'all. And thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your energy. We're gonna tap into Aquarius now. Aquarius, what y'all got going on in love? We're gonna start off with Aquarius singles. All right, here we go. And they said, please tell me something good. Literally, you guys, just take the messages as they come out. If it's not your message, you're going to know because you're going to be like, nah, that's not me. Or I didn't need to hear that today. Or that's not it. And for some of you, you're going to be like, wow, that's exactly what I needed to hear. Or that's exactly my message. Or that's exactly happening. That's how you're going to know if it's for you or not, okay? Don't make the, show, the shoe fit if it's not yours, okay? So that means that if your Cinderella... And somebody else is trying to put on your shoe and you know, they know dang well it's not their shoe, which is all the people who are trying to say it don't resonate or trying to make it resonate when it doesn't. You're the ones trying on that slipper, that glass slipper that's not yours. Don't put on the glass slipper that's not yours, okay? Not everybody's going to be Cinderella or Cinderellos in the chat. Not all the messages will resonate with you. So keep that in mind. Use your discernment. Here we go. Spirit is telling me to put all the cards for your reading in the upright. So I'm just going to follow directions. We ain't going to argue with Spirit today. I don't want no smoke. So give me a second, you guys. Specifically for the Aquarius reading, they want me to put them all in the upright. They keep saying that. So I'm just going to do it. Oh, as I'm doing this. Oh, that's funny. As I'm doing this, 
I'm being guided to say that there's something that you are uh, fixing. It's like something that you're fixing. I don't know if you're twisting something or you're putting something that's upside down upright. It's like now spirit is showing me like a visually um, like a, what is that called? An hourglass that you go like this. So somebody played a game that had an hourglass in it recently. That's going to be your confirmation. Or you're flipping the, you're turning the, turning the wheels on time or something. It's like something like that. I don't know, spirit. It is good. I don't know. Anyways, that could resonate for some, not all. Um, Here we go. You're turning the wheels of time, spinning something upside down that was, upside down you're spinning it back upright like you're getting back on track yeah you're getting back on track something like that that's probably the only reason why i was supposed to put these in the upright not because we actually need the messages in the upright it's probably just for that <laughs> meditative message anyways that was premeditative messages coming through for my aquarius singles all right here we go aquarius gang gang in the building what do we have for singles what do we have for singles? Commitment. True love. Wow. Singles, Aquarius. What do we have for singles, Aquarius? Worth waiting for. You deserve love. Bottom of the deck. This could be the one. We haven't done Taurus's reading yet, but we've finished like literally all the zodiacs. And not for nothing, y'all have the best reading of the night. Hand clapping emojis to the Aquarius in the chat. Who resonates with this? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, this right here is my. swag <laughs> that's what somebody's saying okay so for my singles y'all don't even see this coming and let me just tell you something not for nothing like i don't even know if this is something that you are looking forward to or looking at anything right now this is how love comes in it literally smacks you in the face this is why i had to turn all the cards in the upright the 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 literally the hourglass of time is turning on you this is crazy. Something's going to come in and fall in your lap. Like, literally, like. And you're going to be like, what is this for? <laughs> the spirit's going to be like, you did the work. This is what you called in subconsciously. Like, what do you mean? You're gonna, you don't even know you manifested this. Like, for a lot of my Aquarius, you're going to be like, what the F? You're going to be like, I'm not even ready for this. And spirit's going to be like, yeah, you are. Stop playing games. Pull up around this. Uh, what the what in the Aquarius Oracle game? Hold on, y'all. Because y'all got me twisted. <laughs> and you know what's funny? Before we got into your reading, like the... I had to put some lotion on, y'all. My hands were getting dry. Um, Not for nothing. Like... <laughs> y'all was like, give me something good, Aquarius. Like, I heard... I, I saw... Not heard, but I saw somebody's comment when I looked up before the reading started. Like, somebody was like... Give me something good for Aquarius. And then look, <laughs> it's literally right here. Something is turning in the wheels of time for you. A lot Aquarius here. And y'all don't even see it coming. For some of you, this is what you want. For some of you, you're blindsided. You're literally like, huh? Like, okay, y'all can negate it if you want. Y'all can negate this reading if you want. Y'all can say you don't want it. You don't even have to claim it if you don't want to. But I'm telling you, it's coming in. You have free will. This is going to come into you no matter what. So... If you're ready, you're ready and you, and you accept it for what it is when it comes in. And if you guys don't want this, you have free will to be like, I don't want this. And that's fine too. But don't try and tell spirit, oh, I maybe I did want it. Oh, I should have grabbed it when you gave it to me. Because spirit going to be like, they're going to smack you. Back to the cosmos. <sighs> this is funny. All right, here we go. Here we go. 
Aquarius singles, you do have somebody coming in who is definitely going to see you as hubby wifey material, whether or not you feel like that. But you might be looking at them like hubby, hubby wifey material. But I do feel like this person, we're just going to say from your perspective, this person, whoever's coming in, male or female, is looking at you like the end all be all to love and life. Like they're ready to get married. They're ready for the ready. They're ready for the ring. They're ready for the, the wedding. They're ready for the commitment. They're ready for the boyfriend girlfriend phase. They're ready for the fiance phase. They're ready for the longevity of everything. Y'all have the best reading of the night so far. And I'm not saying that there's a best and a worst. I'm just saying you have the best like lineup of cards. Like I've never seen these cards come out in a row like this. Y'all seen all the readings. Y'all stayed around for all the readings. Like this is insane the way the cards came out. And y'all saw me shuffle. Sad. This is definitely your reading. Um, we have true love here. This is a romance of a lifetime. So don't miss it. Don't miss the train. It's fair to say. Don't miss the train. Because if you don't pull up on this ticket, the first one-way ticket to this beautiful beginning and ending to a relationship, beginning and beginning and beginning and longevity of this relationship, you might not find this again. That's what Spirit is telling me. Spirit is telling me, like, this is once in a lifetime. Like, if y'all don't want this, it's probably going to be another 10 years till you get it again. So, make your decision because Spirit is waiting. True love is here.